toyota.com, where people always come first. Taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. In the South, we don't get rid of classics. We reinvent them. Try Jack's brand new classic, the Honey Barbecue Chicken Finger Melt. Three hand-breaded chicken fingers drizzled in new honey barbecue sauce, melted cheese, and served on Texas toast with crinkle cut fries, all just $5.49. A new twist on a Southern standard, because flavor is always in style. From Jack's, all about the South. What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? As different as each of the members of America's First are, they all like it when good things happen to them. Like when their savings earn a higher return than they can get with a bank, and when their loans and credit cards have lower rates. And they like taking care of business from wherever they are. Why not join us today? America's First Federal Credit Union. you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Welcome everyone to the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. It's our second stop overall of the ABT, but it's our first stop of the ABT South Division. Those of you watching online at alabamabasstrail.org, we are on Lake Jordan. Yeah, Lake Jordan to the rest of the world, but Lake Jordan to those in uh, South Alabama. Uh, my name is Robbie Floyd. I'll be your MC, your host uh, throughout the day. Clay Baldus will join me up on stage, the uh, the Waymaster and Tournament Director here in just a moment. But it's our second stop overall. We kicked things off just last week at Lake Guntersville on the north. It took over 30 pounds to win that event. If we catch a 30-pound bag today, I can promise you they're going to win this thing. <laughs> it is tough catching out there. And it was a cold start this morning, about 39 degrees. Water temperature was up about a degree or two compared to Guntersville a week ago. Um, sunny today. Um, bluebird skies right now. You really can't see a cloud in the sky, but the wind did pick up. It's going to affect the guys that are there out there trying to hold position. I uh, hope they have their spot lock on if they're really trying to sit on those spots. But it is going to be a tough day of catching, but not for everyone. One particular pair we'll see come across the stage today had a limit within 45 minutes. They actually can probably hear us talking right now. That's how close that uh, some of these guys were that we saw fishing this morning. Um, so it's tough for some, but not for everyone. One thing we will see today is 225 boats leave, and as many people that can catch a bass, they will come across stage. You catch one bass, it's worth valuable points trying to make it to the championship at Lake Martin later on this year in October. So 225 left. If you caught a bass, they're going to come across because there's going to be quite a few zeros and quite a few single fish that really won't weigh that much, but you need those points because if you had a bad 
you know, stop number one, you still have two, three, four, and five to try and make it to that all entry fee paid tournament, the uh, team chair, our championship later on at Martin of this year. Like to welcome uh, all of our fans that are here as well. The uh, Mama and the Golden Girls are over there selling t-shirts. I know we're out of uh, sweatshirts in almost every size. If you're going to the Bassmaster Classic, we hope to have some by then. It's going to be at uh, Guntersville next week. Uh, but again, we were just weren't expecting that many people to buy uh, so much stuff. But we do appreciate you wearing the ABT gear. A little incentive for the anglers if they are the highest placing finishers wearing ABT gear. They get an extra 250 bucks from the Alabama Bass Trail. And that makes me think of all of our sponsors. Without the people that are behind me here, these events would not be possible. Um, 110%, is that right, Kay? 110% payback. Uh, that means that the entry fees plus another 10% is paid back to the anglers. So without these sponsors, it would not be possible. And new ones like in the past couple of years, like America's First Federal Credit Union, or maybe it's Berkeley this year, somebody like Fish Neely Henry or Mountain Dew that's been with us for years, or Bill Penny Toyota has been with us since day one, Academy Sports and Outdoors. These are the people that help to support the sport of bass fishing here in Alabama. We hope that you uh, can show them some love as well. If you have a choice between this guy or those guys, we want you to choose them. And again, thank you. Um, people like Wadawi Marine, Kicking Back Money, the highest placing finisher that bought their boat at uh, Wadawi Marine, America's First Federal Credit Union. Um, they pay. And all you have to do is get your boat financed through America's First Federal Credit Union. It's simple. They're just trying to do what they're supposed to be doing anyway, trying to win that $10,000 check. What is it, $47,000 in, uh, in cash and prizes uh, plus contingencies up for grabs. So a lot of money for these guys. But the winner's share going to... Uh, uh, be $10,000. We also pay down to 40 places. First flight uh, checked in just about right when I came on air at 2.30. We've had some guys weigh in already. Right now our current lead, Thaxton Taunton and Doyle Daunton had two fish that weigh 5.93. So three pound average for them. Three pound average, you get five fish, you're going to make a paycheck today. I have, I have a very, very good feeling. That'd be about 15 pounds. Um, but can you catch that five fish limit? We've seen it done before. I'd like to bring up one of the ladies, uh, or the lady responsible for the Alabama Bass Trail, one of the ladies that are on tour with us week in and week out. Her official title is the program director of the Alabama Bass Trail. How about a warm welcome for Miss Kay Donaldson, ladies and gentlemen? Listen to that. You would, you would think we were in Decatur. I mean, this isn't your hometown, but these are your people. These are my people. Um, you know, Lake Jordan's been on our trail for seven years. I mean, this is the seventh time we've been here, and we always have a great turnout here. It's not ideal for them because there's no bleacher seating or anything like that, but they always continue to show up for us. Um, I think they show up for the guys at the tank more than me, but, uh, yeah, we love coming to Lake Jordan, and Jordan, Jordan. You did it. I like that. I know. I, I slid that right in there like I'm a true southern Alabama girl. And you'll see some of the boats coming in front of us. Uh, actually get to put in the water, Bonner's Ferry, just across the lake, and here at the State Park. Uh, excellent facilities. And uh, how about these anglers this morning? 225 boats were in the water, ready to go 10 minutes before blast off. That's how you get it done. You know, I had a feeling that they were going to be that successful this morning because this particular division of the Alabama Bass Trail, 225 boats sold out in less than three hours in August. So they were so excited to get signed up. I knew they would be just as excited to kick this season off. We were in the water and ready for blast off 20 minutes early this morning. You can't ask for more than that. I laugh because my mind's spinning. I knew it was a three number, but I said, I think it sold out in 30 minutes. It probably felt like 30 minutes to you. It did. It was, um, it was a lot of fun to sit there and watch that. And uh, when you talk talking to the guys last night, you had so many new people coming up and introducing themselves and how long they've waited to fish the Alabama Bass Trail and how excited they are. You know, it just knows that you're doing something. You're answering a need. You're, you're taking care of a certain need here in the state of Alabama. And across the southeast, we have guys from Georgia, Florida, Mississippi, uh, a team that won last night, and one of the prizes was from Illinois. So when you can bring teams from that far away and introduce them to the hospitality in the state of Alabama, to the great fishing in the state of Alabama, then that's what you're supposed to be doing. It's going to be fun today. I know it was tough for some of the anglers out there, but you and I both personally saw a limit with one, uh, one pair, and they said they had it in no time. They always find a way to catch them. They do. I mean, I don't doubt it's been a really tough week on these guys getting ready for this event. We've had such flooded conditions. We've had cold weather. We've had warm weather. We've had wind. We've had bright bluebird skies. They've just had it all thrown to them in, in the matter of about seven days. Uh, we've had some snow. I mean, it's, it's just been kind of crazy weather. But um, these guys always adjust, and someone's going to catch them. Not, probably not everyone's going to catch them, but someone's going to catch them. You ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Let's do this. Kay Donaldson with the Alabama Bass Trail. And uh, one thing that we do at each and every stop, no matter where we're at, um, is our national anthem. So if you would, please stand up, take off your hats, pay tribute to all of our soldiers here in the U.S., 
and then fight for our rights to do everything that we do all around the world with the playing of our national anthem. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rest. So gently streaming and again to red the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag. I'd like to thank all of our soldiers here and abroad. And uh, I noticed a gentleman over there saluting the flag. And I had a buddy who's a, a Marine. And he's like, you talk about was a Marine. No, you're never you're was a Marine. Once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. It's kind of like an Olympian. There's no former Olympians. Right. Same thing with our uh, military service. And uh, I'd like to thank them for doing everything they do. And Clay Baldus, uh, I'd like to thank you for everything that you do and, and coming up here and, and lining up these guys because it's time to weigh in some boats today. I, I think they're going to catch them no matter what. It's going to be tough. But... Um, these are the best that Alabama and uh, Southeast have to offer. Well, there's no doubt about that. I mean, these guys are the best around. Somebody's going to catch them. They always do. What are we looking at as far as what type of bass and, and the size limit? Well, we're looking for largemouth and spotted bass, and we're looking for 12 inches on both. So it's simple. If they're over 12 inches, they're largemouth or spot, we're going to weigh them in. So let's do it. John Bryan, Mason Bryan, come on over here. We got some nice orange uh, lines going to the X's, and I got to talk to y'all just a little bit. Uh, Father, son getting to go out there, and uh, it's got to be fun each and every time that you get to cross the stage. It is. I this I told him I said there's no place in the world I'd rather be right now than in the boat with him fishing. I heard you lost one at the end. Yeah, I did. On what, what kind of bait? A single hook bait or a multi hook bait? Multi. Okay. Well, at least there's an excuse there. Let's find out what your total is. It looks like 260 for these. Hey, it's going to give you some points. I want to yep. see you at that championship at the end, right? That's right. What all about. Yep. What's your name? Mason. Where are you from? What, what grade? Eight. How's your girlfriend doing? I don't have one. She told me she told me I had to fish too much. How? <laughs> That's what I'll say. How can you keep her around if she's going to tell you something like that? Hey, I like your style, Mason. We'll see you, buddy. See you the next stop. Next stop will be Lay Lake. She told you she fished too much. That, see, she she was mental already. I'm glad you could identify that. Dustin Lindsay and Rich Benefield, they got a couple of bass. It's going to be a points day, but I'm, I'm sure you were proud of those two fish, right? Extremely. It was tough. It was tough. How'd you catch them? Crankbait. Cranking. So you're more out in the main lake or uh, shallow cranking? Main lake. Uh, main lake. Hard to hold that spot, too. Let's take a look. Four pounds. A two pound average for those guys. Thank you, guys. We'll see where that puts you. We'll see you at Lay Lake. Austin Rich, Brian Taylor. One thing, the guys, uh, we always leave two uh, baskets in the tank. You can come up. One left, one pops up here. I'll talk to you really quick. How did it go for you guys today? Awful. Awful. Let's see what awful weighs. Awful's two fish away, 487. You're going to catch more than quite a few people today. It's going to be a tough day. It's been tough. The wind was awful. It got worse as the day got on. Yeah, I think the early bites been winning. I mean, if anybody that got on them early is going to have a good sack. I think you could be right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you later. Let's bring on Rob Lee, Steve Winslet, five bass. We've got our first limit of the day. Let's find out. Guys, what are y'all waiting back there? Get your tail up here. This ain't like it's your first rodeo. They said they think the guys that caught them early is going to win this thing. Did you catch them early? Yeah, we called all of them but one early. What time are we talking about? Uh, 10 minutes after daylight. No way. 
10 minutes. We hear uh, 45 minutes, but 10 minutes, I think you're our leader on the first first bank. Uh, what part of the, the water? Were you this way, that way, halfway in between? We was as far north as you could go. All the way up there. Heard the water was churning pretty good up there. Had a little current. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the bass. Large mouth or small? So I'm looking at, or spotted, rather. We got four spots and one large mouth. Okay, a little bit of a mixed bag. All right, we've got a new lead. Not quite 15 pounds, but 1491 for Lee and Wins. How about a round of applause setting that pace? I, I knew 15 pounds to get you a paycheck. Do you think it's going to be enough to win this thing, though, with it being such a tough day? No, it, somebody's going to catch them. I mean, that's a good sack. I mean, we're really grateful to have those. I mean, I think we caught seven fish all day. Go grab a couple of these bass, hold them up for us, and uh, we'll figure out some weights. Hey, do we have a Mountain Dew Big Bass set yet? You got a big one in there? We know that there was one single that was good. We have like a three pounder, right? We didn't we didn't do it, but we know we had one single that weighed uh, three twenty five is what our Mountain Dew Big Bass right now is. Mountain Dew Big Bass, uh, Jimmy Miller and Jeremy Miller. It was Miller time. There's some of those beautiful Coosa spots. You got one that's three and a quarter. Let's find out. We'll wait and find out what your big one is. We have uh, next stop again. This first stop of five. Next stop on the ABT County. South will be Lay Lake. And then over to Bay. Yeah, All right. Let's see what uh, Biggie. Let's see what Biggie weighs. Is it going to be three and a quarter? Yes, sir. We've got a new Mountain Dew Big Bass. 368 for that spotted bass. You know what that means. I get to crack it over our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Oh, there you go. Set the tone. All right. Tell me, what did, it, what, did they all come on the same thing or a variety of things? Uh, we caught, I think, everything but one on a spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. So you just bank beating for the most part or uh, other stuff that we couldn't see? Oh, that was just a seam up there. We were just casting, and that seam coming down in the current. Okay, so it was all current base, though, still. Right. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, bank, bank, uh, bank beating with all those spots out there. But uh, uh, generally, when you're looking at this seam, what was going on under the water as far as the depth and things like that? Because I heard they were pulling throughout the day. Right. Well, there's a couple of big boulders up there that kind of break the current. And, yeah. Well, for the water, but but eddies and things like that, you're looking at that scene? Absolutely. They all behind the eddies. It's so much volume of current up there. They're going to be behind something. How hard was it for your whole position? Uh, not too bad. Um, thank God for spot lock, you know. Uh, but it's it wasn't too bad because we were sitting on the outside part of the seam, so it wasn't quite as bad. Good job, Rob. Good job, guys. You are our leaders right now, Rob Lee, Steve Winslet. Again, we're going to move through here fairly quickly today, but this next pair has got a limit as well. Charlie Williams and Michael Smith. They've got five bass for 1322. I'm telling you, brother, that's a good day. Tickle pink to have it. <laughs> I bet you were. All right, tell me about your day. Uh, how, how soon did you have that limit? No, uh, we didn't have a fish probably 1030. So it was just one here, one there. Caught the last one probably, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. So hopping around a lot of different spots? No, we caught them all in the same little area. We just had to leave, come back, leave, come back. Give it a little break, though. Yeah. Yep. What were you doing? Um, uh, heavy shaky head and a jig. Okay. Uh, grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up for us. You move into second place right now. Sure. Let's find out a Mountain Dew Big Bass. Not quite going to be there. 327. So basically the same area, but had to let it rest for just a little while. Leave, come back. Makes sense. Straight ahead, guys. You're doing a great job in there, and a lot of new anglers on the south, too. So, guys, we always keep two baskets in the tank up here. Um, as soon as one pair has left, or I got through talking with them, you can come on over here to the X's or, or just next to my side, and I'll start talking to you. Come on over here. Steve Lip and Mitch Milner got a single bass, but you just got to look at it as points, right? Uh, it could have been worse. Why? We could have zeroed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the way you were looking at it, it's like, man, I caught that one at the end. When did you catch that one? Early. Early, okay. Then then you're hunting the rest of the time to catch another one or another four to go with it. 133, it's going to get you some points. That's what you got to look at today. Thank you, brother. We'll see you at Lay Lake. Let's move on to our next pair. Let's bring them on now. C.J. Knight and uh, Mark Gabletti. They got three bass. It's two more than they had. Well, we was first uh, first boat this morning, so we did leave for a second. Yeah, well, now, you went to that first spot. Were they there? They wasn't. We wasn't on nothing. 
Did they bite more later on in the day? Uh, we got five bites all day and got three in the boat. So. Okay. Not, yeah, tough day, but, you know, executed okay. 411, that's what I give you, but you needed more information than I'm going to give you up there. You needed to dial a different 411. Thank you, guys. Good job. Again, uh, everybody, you know, coming across stage even with single fish because uh, you got to get those points if you're going to make the uh, championship later on this year at Lake Martin. Joey Davidson, Tulsa Near, got five bass. I like looking over there and seeing that limit. Me too. <laughs> when did you have a limit by? Uh, it was early. We, we had an early bite, and it kind of slowed down later in the day for us. Oh, it's going to be close, trying to take the lead. The lead, Rob Lee, Steve Winslet, 1491. Joey Davidson, Tulsa Near, 1501. We've got a new leader in our first 15-pound bag. Excellent job. So uh, tell me how the day went down and what were you doing? I went, it went real good early, and then it slowed down. We started getting a little worried. But no bites at all or just no catches? Uh, just a few and far between. Um, what were you doing bait-wise? Uh, most of the day through a jig. All day jig. All right, most of the day grabbing a jig. Caught him on a jig probably and then tried working around. Let's find out what this uh, big spot's going to weigh right now to take the Mountain Dew Big Bass. Need 368, and you're going to do that easy. Yep. Spotted bass, right? Spotted bass that almost weighs five pounds. 497 for this spot. Boy, you get five of those. You'd have really been having it. You get five of those, you win it, don't you think? I think so. I think we, we had a couple of more on like that that just got off, just didn't work out. So uh, did you go all the way up too? We actually skipped around all day. Good deal. I like that. Multiple locations. Great job. Go grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up. Make sure you grab the big one. Those of you watching online too, you'll see boats cross in front of us. They're literally pulling out of the, uh, out of the water and, and have, to, have to make it out of the state park somehow. And there's only one way in, one way out, right? Unless you got a shortcut I don't know about. <laughs> Chad Hall and Brian Stifler, you're up next. No matter what that thing says, you're in boat number 21. Come on over here, big. You can talk to me. You know you don't touch her. How many times you done this? Uh, quite a few. I know, and you're grabbing the basket. You know, I mean, I, I, I help you're big enough, he ain't going to slap your hand, but if I were to do it, he would slap mine. You know, I thought I'd get some sympathy weight if I helped out over there. You, you wish you could get one more fish in there, right? You'd have a five instead of four. Four's good, and you're right on that, that number, 11-14. It was a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day. We missed a couple of really key fish today. We, we lost some big fish today. You're going to weigh in this one. Uh, again, just under five pounds uh, is the Mountain Dew Big Bass. So what were you losing them on? What kind of bait? Uh, uh, jig. A single hook bait too so it's a lot of time that could be a uh, operator error out there are they just not taking it all that well you're right those fish did not operate proper they did not they, they did not cooperate good thing we waited in we're trying to find a mountain dew big bass over 497 we've got it 530 for the mountain dew big bass who caught it you or your partner i did we both did he, i caught it, he netted it and that's a team deal <laughs> hey grab that bad boy you grab that single hold it up to k out in front, Mountain Dew Big Bass, 5.30. Purdy. Got a belly on it, too. <laughs> oh. Brian's all Mr. Jokes today. I mean, he got the Mountain Dew Big Bass, got a good limit going in there. Think? Yeah, you head to Jack's. I'll see you. John the White, Chris Payne. Come on over here. I got two bass. I mean, caught one since I saw you this morning. It seemed like it was an all right start. Looks like things were going your way, but it didn't pick up as the day went on. No, it didn't. And the other one we caught, like, right after you guys left. So I thought we had the ball rolling. I think we swung one more time the rest of the day. We were just laughing. Brian makes a five-and-a-half-pounder like a two-pounder. I know. <laughs> You're exactly right. Your two fish weigh 638. You don't weigh the big one? Uh, we'll see what it weighs. Is that the one we saw when we were over there? No, that was the next one. The next one was... I was like, I was like, if it's five pounder that first one, I said my eyes are really going bad on me. Doing the same thing though. Uh, yeah, do the same thing, and uh, I mean we we haven't been getting many bites, we've been getting some good bites, and we thought if we stuck with it, you know, we we get five bites, we'd have a good bag, but it just didn't work out for us. We were covering you, and uh, you were like, oh, they got a good one. You know, the other guys that were over there, they also had a limit by that time, and you're not necessarily aware of, but it that's the way it goes. Is that one fish? No, that's their total. I'm like, dude. 
Oh, no, I, I, th I think we do. If you got one that it could even be close. I, yeah, you got a good one out there. Let anybody in on what you're doing. Who's this, by the way? What's your name? Alana. You having fun? Do you fish yourself? Yes, sir. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? How, how much the weigh? you know? I don't remember. You don't remember. It was that big. Let's find out. So you got two fish, but a 383, that was your big one out there. But um, any bait in particular, what were you doing? Uh, we were just flipping a uh, reaction innovations beaver, and uh, we had been getting a lot of pulls on it. But today, they just uh, they didn't like it as much. I don't know. We might have just – wish we had a couple, a couple more hours out there with it warming up. I think they're going to bite this afternoon. I saw Andre out there, and he said, I don't know what's wrong with your sense of colors. Hi. <laughs> he said you were jacked up. All right, thank you, guys. All right, we're going to go through fairly quick. Come on over here, Mark McCaig, Tim Hurst. They got five bass. I like seeing that. Now, when did you have that limit by? Uh, probably about 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So that's a fun day. Well, yeah, considering how that we hadn't caught a limit in three trips here, that's that's a pretty good day. You did it now to take the lead. Need 1501. They did it 1537. We're going back to back to back, stroking them. Did you catch them the same way? Yeah, we caught all of them just pitching a jig stuff, you know, just – it's just really, really hard to get a bite. I mean, you get a bite, and you think, I might have something figured out. And you try to run that for a little while, and you don't get bites. And then the next thing you know, it's an hour later, and you hadn't had a bite. You, you kind of shut down after 11? No, we, not really. I mean, we, we got we called one time, probably about 2, something like that. You know, we had to be back at 2.30. So. Good deal. Go grab a couple of those bass, hold them up. Uh, you're taking the lead. Of course, anytime we get 15 pounds or more as it stands right now, we got to do it. But right now, we kind of hit a wave. Got a lot of. Uh, no catches, a lot of singles. We're kind of getting behind on our time as far as that feel that I got because our objective, uh, Clay, with 225 leaving is we expect 225 to come across, but um, it's going to be a struggle for a lot of these guys. But now we kind of hit a wave where it seems like quite a few of them are catching them. Well, you know, the funny thing about that, Robbie, is the guys were saying, you know, oh, we drew out, you know, early boat numbers. It's going to be terrible for us, but, I mean, we, we see a little different there. You're exactly right. Yeah, 254 right now. So, our, thank you, brother. Uh, second flight has checked in. Third flight checks in at about six minutes. Let's bring on our next pair, James Van Blake, Johnny, Donnie Zundale. They got two bass in the live well. Unless they're just monsters, you got to look at it as one of those points days and head to Lay Lake, right? Yeah, looking forward to Lay. It was tough out there. Let's find out with these two weigh. Two going to weigh 389. We'll get those points. We'll see you there. So our next pair, Paul Davis, Josh Chappell, they got five bass. I know y'all catching them. We got to see you out there on the water but uh five's a good thing i like seeing five there's they're a small five hey but you catch them and uh and let everybody in on how how soon did you have them uh we caught our fifth one about an hour ago keep fighting all day there's some people that were off the water an hour ago that had given up but it shows you that they're still biting yep, we, we tried everything we could think of and these five going to weigh 10.02. You did a good job. Good job catching those five. A big one could have been in that mix. Tim Hatcher, Shane Underwood, they got five as well. I like seeing that limit. How you doing, brother? Doing good, buddy. How about yourself? I'm doing good. And a lot of these people are struggling, but I'm starting to see quite a few limits early on when I didn't think that would be the case. It is a tough lake right now. Hey, you got 13.48. It wasn't so tough for you. Uh, it was, it's still tough, though. I mean, it's just a tough lake. We only caught like six fish all day. Hey, you, you, made, uh, you took advantage, uh, executed on that. Good job. All right, move on to our next pair. Let's move it on up. I didn't ask anybody what they have for snacks today. What you got for snacks? Do it in a minute. Ashley Brasher and uh, Derek Moore coming up next. They got three bass in the live well back in time. What's your name? Eh. I'd like to interview. Eh. How old are you, 30, 37? What happened? You're not going to talk to me? You're shy when you get up here, huh? Yeah, he's shy. We'll give you 859. Not not your best work, but you know what? That is going to beat a lot of people today. So on a bad day, if you can get this many points, I think you, you're going to be pleased after all said and done. Yeah, we just, I don't know. We, we certainly left our first spot. We caught all three of them early. And then we left about 10 o'clock and come back down here. I thought I could put some up out of the grass. But was somebody on it when you came back? Oh, uh, was well, somebody on it. <laughs> How many of those people? I get you, brother. All right. Jimmy Martin, Johnny Guy coming up next. Five bass. I like to see those five. Come on over here, sir. Don't even wait. You, I'll tell you how much they were. What are we looking at, 20, 25 pounds? Yeah, I couldn't get my partner to come up here. He's ashamed of it. I'm, how many fish did you catch? Five. Five bass weigh 644. <laughs> That's Peter Finney. They weren't big ones, were they? Like Lake Martin. Don't hey, that, that, no, that ain't right. 644. You caught five, though. I'm proud of you, brother. Thank you. Good job. Joe Wyckoff, Radney Atchison. Two of our high school competitors coming on up here. Yeah, they were high school. What, what year did you graduate? Last year. Yeah, you so lie. 
It was 1919 when you did it. It was in 19. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. It's, it's Radney's the one that I got to watch out for. He's sneaky. <laughs> hey, uh, 1072, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm proud today. I, that wasn't good, but tough today. Hey, it just proves that you must be one heck of a fisherman if you can catch fish with him in a boat. <laughs> I rely on him. Yeah. Y'all do both? Y'all both catch them today? I ugly them up. Yeah. <laughs> Later, guys. 1041 with four fish. Uh, round some decent fish. Five. Oh, they did five. Oh. My Heath Daniel, Nick Davis had four. I, he, he was giving me hand signals. Got four. Did he ever have that fifth one on today? We did. We had him, and uh, he was struggling a little bit. We had him early. Didn't want to take that chance at a penalty. We, we threw him back, and little did we know that was the last bite we got on. Oh, what time did you throw it, throw it back? About 9 this morning. Oh, no. That hurts. 1041 your total, guys. Good job on catching those. Had that limit. James Grogan, Ryan Ingram, come on over here. Two bass. Let me look at my line. Oh, yeah, I'm going to moto through this. going to be points, right? Uh, I got one. Uh, if it's, it's two fish tournament, it'll be all right. Yeah. two. You got one in there good? One pretty good one in there. One pretty good one. You got, oh, man, two bass for 835. We got to weigh that big, right? For sure. Right now, our Mountain Dew Big Bass is 530, but when you got two bass that weigh 835, what were you doing? Did you catch them both the same way? Caught one on shed, everybody, one on shaky head. Okay. So two totally different ways. Let's find out what the big's going to weigh. What the big one come on? Uh, shaky head. Shaky. So it just goes to prove you don't need it. Was it like a power shaky head? Was it a big bait or no? Just a big one, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll say it doesn't have to be a big bait or heavy line or anything else to catch a big fish. Right now we're looking for a 530. Well, it's going to be one pound less than that, but a 425. You're around some good fish. Good job. Thank you. Four and a quarter pounds. I want to talk to Ryan Lloyd and Brian Adamson. You're the next contestant on the fishes, right? How'd it go for you today? Not much to talk about. Really? Let's take a look. Four bass. Was the fifth ever there? Yes. And? It's not here now. It's not. It, it did not make it to the thing. Who shook it off? Why are you both pointing it at each other? <laughs> we, we both lost. So about that. Oh, that's, that's rough. These four are going to weigh a grand total of, well, let's find out. Four fish for a total of 722. That's going to give you some points. We'll see you late, late, guys. Thank you. Up next, Anthony Goggins, Jeremy Headley. They got three bass in the live well. I expected you to come up here with five. I know you were expecting two. What happened? Hey, the Lord blessed us with five bites today. We got three of them. <laughs> You're batting 600. <laughs> These three are going to weigh a total. And he got that early flight to... 965, so not not too bad. Just needed the fourth and fifth one in there. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. We just didn't get, we didn't get the other two in the boat. It happened. Thank you, guys. Who next? It'd be Scott Dupreece and Brian Womble. Or as we write on here, Brain Womble. I don't, I don't know. I noticed that. I'm like, I know that ain't right. Hey, hey, you got you got five. I like seeing five, but they're about two pounds a piece. 942. That wasn't too bad. We struggled to get those, though. What were you doing? Just shaky head. Shaky. All right, you caught him. Good job. I like seeing that limit. Joey McCall, Chris Medlock, they got three bass. You throwing a shaky head today? Negative. Not even one time? Nope, not one time. Um, Chatterbait? Nope, square bill crankbait. Oh, square bill even crankbait, so, so shallow cranking. Yes. Yeah, got those three going to weigh 611. That's all I'm going to give you today. See you the next stop. Chris Landis, Brad Pitts. Man, I'll tell you right now, when Kay saw Brad Pitt on the on the thing, right, she almost had heart failure. Thought he was fishing on the Alabama Bass Trail. You got two bass out there today, uh, just few and far between on the bites. That's all. It was tough today. What were y'all doing? I uh, was flipping grass, shake your heads, you name it. Trying to coax them in there. 49, not too bad for those two, though. Thank you, sir. Eric Summers, Daniel Summers, please tell me you've got an Aunt Donna. Not even one Donna Summers. That I think that would really made my day. Both 75. Y'all came in a little early, huh? Mm -hmm. You're over it, huh? Oh, yeah. These two bass going away for something. 430. I'm going to give you some points. You can head to Lake, Lake, and then you can talk to me after you catch five, okay? All right. I'll see you then. Thanks, bro. Daniel Spires, Brett Spires got two bass in the live well. Just go look at it as in points. Are you going to get a lot of points? No. Maybe a few. All right. Give me your best gas meter What's it going to weigh? Four pounds. Four even, you're saying. I'm saying you're going to catch more than that because it's going to be 436, so almost three-tenths of a pound better. Good job, brother. Thank you. You look good in that Alabama Bass Trail gear as well. An extra $250. You know, we pay up to 40th place. 
That's a cool dude. Come on over here. You don't have to wait for me. Got that big bite bait shirt on. Tony Hogan and Vernon Ward got four fish. Did you use some big bite baits today? Uh, yeah, big bite crank bait. Uh, swim bait. Swim bait. Did it, did it work out today? You got, I know you caught four. Did you have that fifth one on? No. We only had four bites all day. You executed 100%. 663. That's what I'm going to give you today. All righty. Looking good, sir. Thank you. Again, Big Bike Bates, one of our sponsors as well, Brett Cottle and uh, Ryan Miller. Hands are in your pocket. You're just kind of looking at me like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to take that lead is what he's looking at me. I think it's going to be just shy of it. You have an excellent day. Brett Cottle and Ryan Miller, 15 18. It's going to move them into second place. How about a round of applause? Another 15 pound bag. Got to slow play me a little bit. It is a tough day, but here out there on the. Uh, on this body of water, I think 15 pounds is uh, quite an accomplishment. Had a tough practice. Uh, actually caught the fifth fish, what? Two eleven. Two eleven. Perfect. So it was tough for us. He did get on a drum bite. Did you? You're on, huh? So if you want to catch a drum, what do you throw? Throw a jig. <laughs> throw a jig as the drum bites on. Hey, grab a couple of these bass. Hold them up for us, please. Just shy of our lead, but do move into second place, I believe. Yeah, Brent Collin and Ryan Miller, uh, second place with 15-18. That's our third 15-pound bag of the day. Y'all got that much, right? Yeah, y'all hop over there. Y'all got that much too, though, right? We'll see in just a second. Got my son playing baseball. I'm starting to get text updates, I think, probably. My big bowl. Great job, guys. I'm telling you, 15 pounds is going to get your paycheck today. Could get you a good one. <laughs> Instead of a spotted bass, that was a spotted bath. That's yeah. If a person has a lift, you'd never know which one he was talking about. Larry McDonald and Donnie Ammons, come on over here. Five bass. I was questioning whether you had 15, but you got 1260. Y'all had a pretty good day. When did you get that limit? What time? About 9 o'clock. Nine's great. And you upgraded all day long, right? No. That's the problem, right? That's the problem. <laughs> what were you doing? What were you throwing? Carolina rig. Were you really, Dragon One? I don't blame you. I've done it. Yeah, yeah. In the wind. Ditches, humps, what? Uh, what were you keen on? One in particular thing? Into the wind, you were throwing it, too. That's tough. Yeah. Okay. Whose arm's more tired, yours or his? I don't blame you if you were doing that. Good job, guys. Congratulate. Hey, go. You, you know, they're already gone. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. They gone. Ben Weldon, Trip Weldon. I questioned whether Pops was going to come up here, and the answer is no. How did it go for you guys today? Because this is your backyard. Uh, it was tough. Definitely not our backyard, but uh, it's uh, right down the road. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was tough. It, you know, we uh, we caught five all day. And thirteen forty-five is going to be pretty good. Hey, it's a good way to get things started, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on to the next one, because I'm tired of Lake Jordan. All right, good job, bro. I don't blame you, Ben. Thirteen forty-five. If we have fifteen pounds or better, we will be taking pictures. Let's keep on going. Gonna go through here quickly as we move on to our next pair of the fishes. Right, Brian Jones and Barry Jones. How did the Joneses do today? Uh, well, from about ten to twelve, it was great. Lights out that two-hour time period, right? Caught nine keepers, and that was it. Those two hours. Hey, I. Dude, I can promise you everybody would love to have those nine keepers. Let's find out what these nine are going to, or the five are going to weigh. They're your best. 12-12, so you're going to get some points. Not Maybe even get a paycheck. Who knows how tough it was for some of these guys. It was way better than I thought we were going to do because yep. practice was horrible, so I'll take it. Way to turn it around. Good job, guys. Uh, Randall Hamilton, Drew Blackman, come on over here. Five bass. I like seeing this. Who's this with us? It's my daughter, Hadley, right here. Hadley, good seeing you. And it was it a good day for you guys because you got five. Is it enough to take the lead? We need 1537 to take the lead. Hamilton and Blackman, 1576. We've got a new leader on the top of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division here at Lake Jordan. <laughs> I got to put emphasis on that one. All right, tell me how they came about today. Uh, I pretty much threw a shaky head all day. One rod all day. That could be tough. <laughs> yeah. uh, pr fairly protected area? No. no. Not. Make it even tougher then. A lot of people, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, as far as wind and stuff like that and open water, I mean, were you out there in the in the rough stuff? Yeah, we fought through some stuff today. <laughs> hey, grab a couple of those bass, hold them up. Uh, you're the leading the Alabama Bass Trail right now. Have her grab one. You can stay up here with us. They're coming back. You can come over here. 
Do you see those X's? That's where they're going to go. They're going to stand right on those X's. <laughs> Watch out, you're going to get fish slime on you. Anna, come on up there. There you go. You can stand out there right next. There you go. Now look ahead. You can touch that fish if you want for good luck. Oh, look at it. You got to use that, some of that fish cologne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on here. Nope, Dad, that is not happening. We got a uh, and now, neg negative ghost rider. The pattern is full. Uh -uh, not going to happen. Great job, guys. And you notice what they're wearing, okay? Golden Girls, Alabama Bass Trail gear. That could be an extra $250. But you cannot buy one of those hoodies because they sold out. <laughs> they got the shirts, but the hoodies sold out. Adam Bird, Tyler Morgan, y'all got 15 pounds out of those three fish? You wish, though, right? That'd only be five, three five-pounders. It could happen. You do have three for 830. Not too bad for three fish. I know you didn't want a number four or number five. Thank you, guys. Up next, Brent Crow, Simon Morrow, five bass. Hey, you got a smile on your face. You got five fish. I mean, was it a good day? Not really. It's better than catching three or four. Well, honesty is the best policy. Let's find out, Brent, what these five fish are going to weigh. A little over 10, it looks like. Five, you got five two-pounders in there. 10.36, so you, you got your five, just couldn't get into the big ones, huh? No, we caught eight or nine keepers, but no big ones. And, I mean, we're really, I, I think, uh, blessed to have five, five the way they're biting. I mean, it's, it's tough right now with all the wind and the mud and the current. And the Not many bites or just short strikes? Just, well, we caught, I think, everything to be it. That's all we had. Good job. Way to execute. Thank you, guys. Scott Parkerson, Richard Chavez. Almost got 11 pounds, 1075. That ain't a bad day. Oh, it was a pretty good day. Pretty, have fun out there? It was tough. First stop, though, get some good points. Head to Lay Lake. Yep, that's good. You like Lay Lake, right? <laughs> Not really. You will. Uh, I have a feeling. I love it. You're going to do well. I like that attitude now. DeAndre Kimbrough, Bo Quinney, come on over here, guys. Good to have you back on the Alabama Bass Trail. You got... Two bass, and it looks like you're around the right size bass, but you need three, four, and five to jump in there. 588 for you today. It's just going to be a points day. Yeah, that's all we can look at. Um, no bites? I mean, hardly any bites today, or what? Uh, they were short striking. We probably had six bites. Going to spinnerbait? No, nah, we didn't get anything moving. Uh, everything's shaky heads. Yeah, yeah I would say there's a lot of shaky heads. Stuff. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Mark Mott, Justin Mott. They got a good bag. How good? Will it be enough to take the lead? Team Mott, they need 1576 to take the lead. Forget the 16s. We're up to 1711 taking the lead. Mark and Justin, I can shake both your hands because that is an excellent day here at uh, Jordan. Did you think you would have that after practice? No, we didn't. We got on this little deal towards the end of the second day of practice that we thought would be good for 15 if everything went right. And they just happen to get just a little bit bigger than what we thought they were. Um, is it a, a thing of fish moving into a certain area? Or are they locked into one spot right now? They're not locked into anything. But I, I don't know what. I don't know why they're even there. Really? It just, it just worked out for us. I, so clue me in a little bit. I mean, anything all? Is it more open water type stuff? Uh, yeah, it was more open water type stuff. The fish were kind of suspended a little bit, just a little bit off bottom. And it was one of those deals. You had to pull the bait through them pretty slow. But when you did, occasionally one of those big ones would move on it, and you'd get a good bite. So you're hopping the bait around them or cranking it through them? Just cranking it through them real Man, slow. Great job. Grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up. You're our leader's 17-pound bag. Man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. The Mots. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of people struggling to catch fish, and they catch 17 pounds. Right now, to get in the top five, you need to have 15 pounds. Six bites all day, and you're looking at four of them. Also talking about having to slowly pull it through them, too, so that might be a thing. You know, a lot of times when people don't catch fish, they tend to speed up. Probably a, a, hind yeah, a hindrance more than a help. Just run it right by them. But it happens. Let's move on to our next pair, boat number 37, Steve Ingram, Amanda Ingram. Got three bass to the live well. Good job on catching those three. I Tough following that group. Yeah, always is. He's got a big stack in front of you. Yeah. Hey, somebody's got to do it. Did you have fun out there today? I did. You caught three. Did uh, three, about a three-pound average, three, uh, 939. Not too bad. 
Uh, yeah, it wasn't a three pound average. There's one about a pound in there. Oh, really? Yeah, one little guy. <laughs> We can put it back if you don't want. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, you're proud of that one pounder. Let's bring on our next pair. Five bass in live well for Roger Perkins and Brandon Baker. And two other participants in here, future fishermen in the Alabama Bass Trail. How much are these five fish going to weigh? 7.32. You're, just, you're around some fish, just not the right size ones, huh? Oh, we're around a ton of fish, just not the right size ones. Sometimes you can question whether they're bait or fish or at all. What are y'all doing out there to catch them? Just throwing a worm, dragging it real slow on the bottom. And it worked. Who's this with us today? Well, this is my boy, James Luke. Yeah, and? Sadie Ray is my daughter. Good to have you all here. This on the Alabama Bass Trail. We'll see you up here next time. Good luck at the next stop at Lady Lake. Jeremy Wyatt and Brad Smith, they got two bass. These two are going to weigh 256. You need to upgrade. Yeah, it was tough today. Do it at Lady Lake. We'll see you there. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Good seeing you out there. Right. Kelly White, Tony Goggins. Yeah. Kelly White. First tournament. Get, Kelly's just keeping on going. I'm guessing that. That means Tony caught both of them, isn't it? No, nah, when you ain't got but two, you know, you don't. Did you at least both catch one? one. Yeah, we caught one apiece. Yeah, that's good. These two are going to weigh 425. So you just got to look at it some points. Some of these guys aren't going to catch them. Some are going to catch singles. Y'all doubled up a single catch. Good job on doing that. Shane Horton, Brandon Horton. Man, they'd be rich if they were related to DR Horton. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? I know. We'd have a house. You got four bass out here. Did you ever have the fifth one on? Never did. Not one time. Four going to give you 725. You're going to beat a bunch of people. Ready for Lay Lake. I'm ready to see you there. Thank you, bro. Jody Fitz, Michael George. You got to have faith. But did only able to catch one bass to come across the stage today, and you were proud of that one, right? Yes, yes. We had three bites all day long. Uh, well, you need a better than 33% catch ratio, though. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> not bad. One three-pounder, you're on a good one, at least. You got that. Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you, guys. Yeah, several guys weighed in earlier today that had single bass, uh, the two-pound range. Yeah, six of them that had two-pounder, single bass. Steve Graziano, Greg Hall. Got four fish in the live well. Thanks for coming on up here. Remind everybody, two uh, baskets in the tank at all times. How'd y'all's day go throughout the day? Uh, started out real slow, and then it quit. Well, you caught four sometime in the mix. Yeah, but uh, my fish moved. Yeah, from practice? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. These four are going to weigh 770, guys. Thank you for fishing with us on the ABT. Thank you, sir. Next up, who next? Victor Harper, Blake Harper. Harper squared. You got one bass. I'm guessing it's not going to be 1711. No, not even close. How much is this single going to weigh? Maybe two pounds. Maybe two pounds. If it's under two pounds, I'm going to give you our diet mount and do small bass. 264. You stomped it. It was way over two pounds. Good job, sir. Noah Godwin, Cole Godwin, they got five bass. And something tells me y'all caught them decent because you got a whole camera crew on top of our camera crew. You got five. <laughs> Let's find out what these five are going to weigh. Were you happy after all said and done? Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It was tough today. I don't want to show you what you got. They got five bass. Now you see why they're filming. They need 1711 to take the lead. Do you think they got it? They got 18? No. 19? Yeah. No. 20? 20.33 20. <laughs> pounds here on Lake Jordan. And you got the ladies out here cheering you on. You knew you were doing something right when you come up on stage. Did you think you had 20 pounds? Not quite. That's, I didn't think we had that. And the thing is, they might be cheering because uh, it's a $10,000 payday to the winner, too. Uh, you know, I know that's got to put a little lump in your throat. <laughs> yeah, it does. We're getting a little more nervous right now? Yeah, I'm still surprised it weighed 20. I didn't think it was that much. How uh, how were you able to catch them today? On a crankbait. Cranking all day long. Out in the wind or, or away from it? I'm kind of blocked out. Uh, it was in the wind. We didn't cool after 9 o'clock. He caught, he caught four of them by 8 o'clock, and I caught one more at 9. Good. That, that helped you out in the shutoff out there. So depth of big key where you see where you graphing them and seeing them and just running it through them? No, it was about 4 to 7 foot. So mid, mid to shallow? Yeah. Not too bad. Hey, grab a couple of these bass. Hold them up. Right now, leading. Wow. 20.33 pounds. So the question was, would we have a 20-pound bag? And we answered that fairly early in this program. It's at 3.15. A first flight checked in at 2.30. So in that first 45 minutes, we've already had 
several 15-pound bags, a 17-pound bag, and a 20-pound bag. And we're going to weigh the big. Noah and Cole did a great job. <laughs> a smile. Yeah. Smile like we're just closed the scales and you, you're on top. We'll find out. All right, you're going to weigh that. Dang, mixed bag too, it looked like. Am I crazy with those spots and large in there? That one large? Just shy. Just shy of the Mountain Dew Big Bass. 479. 530 was the Mountain Dew Big Bass. So we can't give you that uh, Mountain Dew Big Bass award, but uh, you'll gladly swap the Mountain Dew Big Bass for the 10K, right? Absolutely. Uh, and you got the Alabama Bass Trail gear on, too. That's an extra 250 bucks for doing that. That'll pay for dinner. Yes, sure it will. All right, let's find out if you can win this thing, guys. Congratulations. We'll see if it can stand. Noah Godwin and Cole Godwin with 20.33 pounds. <laughs> Harry Parker said Jason Turner. It ain't going to take long. He's four bass. What do you think they're going to weigh? Three pounds. All right, Peanut. Let's find out what they got. 629. You doubled that. Good job. Appreciate it. All right, later, brother. We'll see. You. David Sneed, Clint Carter. Got three bass. Again, we're going to go through these fairly smoothly, fairly quickly, or I mean, as smoothly as I can do it. How much these three going to weigh? 22 and a half. 22 is not going to happen. They are not seven and a half to eight pounders. Glenn David do have three bass, so that's three more bass than a lot of people. And they're peppy, too. Oh, yeah. Well, we only had four bites all day. We caught all four, but one was 11 inches. So. Oh, just a little shy. 717 for these uh, three bass. Thank you, guys. Good job. We'll see you at Lay Lake. Next up, Mark LaPlante, Randy Boyette. Got three bass today. Tell me about your day. Man, it was tough. It's been tough for us the last couple of days. Uh, we found them. We was on a good spot yesterday, and uh, we had to wait on it this morning. Finally, they moved off. Our first fish came. It was a decent fish, and, and uh, I mean, it was a struggle all day for us. Downhill from, Downhill from there. These three are going to weigh 789, guys. Thank you very much. Move on to Jimmy Wood and Ken Jones. Got two bass. Whenever I see two, I wonder, did each of you in the boat catch them? That's right. That's, one piece. That's good. You can spread the wealth between the two teammates and let both guys uh, be net guys as well. Uh, what were y'all doing today? What presentation? Uh, jigs, plastics. Jigs and plastics. All right, let's find out what Jimmy and Ken have. 341 for these two bass, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, they are monsters. Hey, let's go get you more than uh, several people. <coughs> Nick Turner, Joe Lay, got five bass. I like that. You got 20 pounds in there? Maybe 12 or 13. 12 or 13 is what you're thinking. I'm going to think, uh, let me see. You got more than that. You got more than 12 or 13. Yep, you got 14. 14.44. I'm a better guesser than you are. I'll take it. Yeah. All right, if not, I'll drop it down to 12 or 13. Hey, good job. How'd you catch them? Called just about all of them on the chatterbait. Good deal. That might get your paycheck today, guys. Good. 14.44. Miles Palmer, BJ Barnett. Barnett, let's find out what they have. Tell me about these two fish. How'd you catch them? What bait? Uh, chatterbait with a little spanky on the back of it. Okay. Both of them? Every one of them. Good deal. Throwing that chatterbait. Just trying to vibrate them into reacting. Let's find out. 533 for those two fish. Thank you, sir. Move on to Dell Brown, Gunner Brown. Three bass on the Alabama Bass Trail here in Jordan Lake. Are you happy to have those three? It was a tough day, huh? It was. Let's find out what these three going to weigh. Out of all five lakes, which one's your favorite? Don't tell me this one. You follow. You follow. Why is that? What's the biggest weight you've ever caught at you follow? 15, 16. 15, 16. I expect that this year. I will see you there. 932 out of these. Not too bad. Good job, guys. Thank you. He'd have got 15, 16 if he'd have caught two more. Edgar McMichael, Dale McMichael. Got four bass in live well. Did you ever have the fifth one on? Had it side the boat. Right to the side of the boat. Why'd you shake it off? Uh, I didn't. Your partner did? No, it went the other way. He didn't like the looks of my boat. Did you have the net in the water? Yes. It just. Where was your scooper? It just power dived. Oh, yeah, he, he, he went submersible on you. 751. Thank you, sir. Good job. And I want to tell you, you look good with all that ABT gear on. I'm just letting you know. And your TH Marine glove. John Pollard, Dallas Weldon. I know you'd have some ABT stuff on. Been here, done that. It's stupid not to, honestly, though, right? Oh, yeah, the contingency money in this thing is great. Uh, 
We're not going to cash any of it today, but it's it's good money. you got to put yourself in that situation. 12-13, though, it's going to give you a pretty darn good points with 12. Yeah. I mean, this being a home lake, I have done everything that has worked in the last 20 years under these conditions, and we really just laid up. We went and caught five fish, drug a jig, worm, and, and I said, after that, we get five, we'll we'll try to go, you know, try to hit a home run on some of the old places. And, uh have been foul balls instead. Oh yeah, I mean our last our last keeper I think was at ten o'clock this morning. We haven't put a keeper in the boat since. That's tough when you're trying to upgrade. All right, good having you, brother. We'll see you at the next stop. Keith Kirkley, Jeff Kirkley got four bass in there, four going away, seven twenty six. So you just got to look at it as one of those points days and get the heck out of Dodge. Yeah, I'm going Tuscaloosa. Yeah, get on it. Watch out. Watch out that Bud Light virus has been getting people. Mark Cannon. Michael, you get that? You got where I'm coming from on that? Mark Cannon, Michael Davis, you got one bass. But, hey, you know what? You're going to get points that some people would not. 244, there's a lot of single fish going to come across today, but you have to. It's the first stop of five. We have fun. We're to go. And I'm glad to have you here. Thank you, sir. Alan, and Kyle, uh, Alan Yarbrough, Kyle Dorsett, let's find out five bass on here. Kyle, was it a fun day for you? Were you catching them all day? No, we caught. I think we caught five all day. I think we had six bites maybe. Six bites. Looks like it's going to be just under 12 pounds. It's going to be 1164. Um, I know you got to fish the Bassmaster Classic a couple of years ago. Now it's coming back to Gunnersville. Uh, you're going to be paying attention, kind of give you that feel again, because I know it's hard for some guys that aren't in it. It kind of gives them incentive to want to be back in it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was real close to making it back this past year. I, I finished third and fifth and two two of the opens. Uh, and yeah, I got I got a lot of buddies. So yeah, I'll be I'll be glued to the to the computer. I miss seeing you out there. I was ready to chase you. All right, later, brother. Chris Gregory, Todd Rooker, they got 12.05 for you today. Not too bad. That's going to be some pretty solid points. I'm not sure if it's going to get a paycheck or not, though. Yeah, it was just a really, really tough day today with the wind picking up. Yesterday was a little bit better. but What would you catch them on? We caught them flipping. Flipping. Good job. Thank you, guys. Brett Harp, Jacob Kiger got three bass. I was wanting to say five. It was already coming out. Five, you wish you had five, though, huh? Yes, sir. Hey, did y'all get some new gear? These look like brand new shirts. They're new. They are new. DD26, we got Wu Tungsten, Cornerstone, Drywall, Phoenix. You were looking good. The boat was looking good. I mean, I, you're prime. Thank you. Um, tell me about your day. We uh, went up north to the dam and uh, caught them on Chatterbait. Good deal. Thank you, guys. Eight ninety five for them. We move on to our next pair, Caden Sinclair, Hunter Gibson. You got a single bass, you got to come up here and talk to me, though, because you know that single bass could be the one that puts you into that championship. Yeah, that's the only reason we're weighing it. We need some points. <laughs> it's tough, and we'll see it lay. Hey, you know you in with a win, though, too, right? Yeah. Uh, you got four more chances to win one. We just got to do that. <laughs> see you there, then. Thank you, guys. Been there, done it before. 164 there total. Let's so move on to J.D. Perez and Kevin Gibson. Next up, they got three bass. Where you at? Why are you hiding from me? Why are you hiding? You eyeball Usually, you know, guys that have, like, really big fish will be back there go, like, I want to see what this was, but that's not the case. That's not the case today. Three bass for you today. Did you ever have any more on? No, actually, we didn't. We just had those three bites, and that was it. Good job on that execution. 547 for you today. Thank you, sir. Guys been out there beating uh, themselves to death in the wind. It's cold this morning. Ready to get back home. You look like you're ready to get back home. I'm ready. What? Why are you creeping up on me like that? Roger Caldwell or Larry Bullock, I'd see now. You got two bass, huh? We started out good. Caught one on about the second cast, the, yeah. big, the big one, and that was a long time before we caught another That's one. That's when you knew you were in trouble, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's find out. These two bass are going to weigh a total of six pounds on the money. It was it was hovering around 590. I got six pounds. Good job on those two fish, though. You yeah, and got one good one in there. You, me, and Spotty McGee for Roger and Larry. Up next, Jimbo Deaton and Jonathan King, boat number 55. You ready to hit the house? Yep. You look like you were over it. Single bass going to get you some points. How many? We're going to find out. Almost a three-bounder. This single's going to weigh 295, sir. Good job on catching that one. Thank you. Take it and run. Billy Smith, Brian Miller. Also another single bass. Uh, I'm doing good. I, I bet you're happy to have that one. Uh, a lot of people aren't even going to catch that. There were a couple small ones, you know, 11, 7, 8 type deal. But so close. Yeah. Uh, Got to be 12 inches just shy of that. Yeah. 244 for you. See where those points will get you. 
Moving on to Danny Hartzell and uh, Nolan Brannon. Got three bass in the live well. Who caught more, you or him? I didn't catch them all. What is wrong with you today? I sucked it up today. <laughs> what were you catching them on? The ever popular Ned Rig. You are so probably right. I saw a few of those out there today. 518. What was he doing? Same thing? No. Yeah. You should have went to the Ned Rig too. Good job on catching what you did. Dan Graham, Trent Adams, they got five bass. I like seeing that. It's been a while since we've seen the limit, but you got it. What time did you have that limit by? Nine o'clock. That's a good day of fishing, right? Yeah. Did you uh, call up from there or catch more? Yeah, we had uh, ten keepers total today. Great job. Ten keepers. I think they might make it up there in that money range. Five going to weigh thirteen seventy-five. Good job, sir. Excellent day. Way to catch ten bass today. That's a fun day of fishing. Zach Harrison, Kristen Harrison, they got three keepers. Did y'all have 10 bass on at any given time? No, sir. <laughs> if you did, you'd have executed a little better. Than Got three there. What are these three going to weigh? Four pounds. Four even. I mean, it's going to be more than that. I think y'all are very bad guessers. 544. You're off almost a pound and a half. Good job, guys. You're going to be quite a few people there, believe it or not, with 544. Ryan Stewart, David Swatts got five fish limit. Good job. On a day when it's hard to catch a limit, you did it. How were you able to do it? Uh, standard shaky head. Shaky head and square bill. Straight up shaky head, square billing it as well. These five are going to weigh right at 12. Will they make it? No. 11.97 still may get you a paycheck, though. We'll see where it puts you. I think it's going to take probably 13 to get a, get in that paycheck range. Trevor Elliott and Brady Morgan, you got five bass. <laughs> what are you doing? You just totally blew by me like I wasn't even here. He is a little shy. What's your name? His name is Braden. Braden, come on over here. They caught him today, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, then why are you ashamed? Why are you going over there? You realize they're gonna, they might even kick you back a little bit if they make good money. <laughs> it ain't a 20 pound bag. No, it's not. <laughs> but it is a 1435. I mean, that's pretty good. That's going to move you up into the top 10, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to move you into about 7th uh, or 8th. Hey, go grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up for us. You go grab one, too. You grab, oh, they're gone. Never mind. I'm going to tell you, do not go grab those bass. Here, talk to me for just a second. Uh, you almost got in that 15-pound range. How did y'all catch them today? We caught one and then uh, circled back around, caught two more back-to-back, -back, circled back around. to the All the same spot? It, uh, four out of the same slew, yes. Oh, that's a good deal. A lot of people around you? Man, it was a boat every other five foot from me. I mean, it was just like, there's a, there's a boat in that pocket, there's a boat in that pocket, and so on and so forth. So we just had to rotate, you know, through our, the best areas we had, and, you know, luckily we caught what we did and got the fifth one about five minutes left. So, you know, we're happy. It worked out. Maybe I'll see you up on stage with some of the bass next time, all right? All right, good to see you, Brady. Let's find out what our next pair has. Charles Beach, Chuck Beach Jr., how many bass equals 504? Two bass, about two and a half pounds a piece. Happy to have those two, I guess. Absolutely. Tough today. Tail whipping out there in that wind. Yes, sir. Hey, I'll see you at Lay Lake. I know you got. I know you got more in you. Let's find out what's next on the basses, right? J.C. Adams, Chuck Adams. They got five bass. I like seeing these limits. What time did you have that fifth bass? Probably one o'clock. Okay, took you a little while to get there. Did you upgrade after they got that fifth one? No, I had six bites all day. Good job on the execution, though. Fourteen twenty. That's a good day. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna get you a paycheck. Hope so. And good point. Yeah, we'll see in that championship. Thank you, guys. Way to start the year off. Seth Johnson, Donnie Johnson, come on over here. The Johnstons got one bass between you. You or your partner? Me. Yeah. Should have made him come up here. It's a long day. Yeah. Let's find out with this single weight. You might get our Mountain Dew, our Diet Mountain Dew small bass, a single for 149. But you know what? You're going to beat people with that 149 because you still have four more stops, and it, you'd be really kicking yourself at that last stop if you missed it by a point or two. Oh, by far. Good job on catching that single. I, I've been there before. Chris Rutland, Kobe Carden, come on over here. They are anglers of the year. Can we go back to back? I'm looking on here. I see five. I have not looked. You're saying no. I promise you, we're not going to give angler of the year away at the first stop. We do it at the end at the fifth stop. These five bass going to weigh 1095, so you're correct. No, not today. Yes. What's our next stop? Lay Lake. First time to Lay Lake, is I here? Never been there. Yeah, not this week? Not this week. Yeah, not this week. You won a time or two there on the Alabama Bass Trail. Hey, so it is important, and a lot of these guys, you see them coming across because you've done it uh, 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 several times with victories, but winning that Angler of the Year, 
even the guys with a single fish, that could make the difference of making the championship or not. Yeah, absolutely. And we was fishless until 1 o'clock today. Well, I'll take that back. We had one small one, and then we caught our second keeper at like 1.30. And, and you kept fighting, and you wound up scratching out a limit. And we're so happy to have that 10.95. I bet you are coming. Good seeing you, brother. Uh, Wesley McKellar, Adam Currington got a single bass, but you got 220 for that single. It's going to give you some points, and you're going to get on out of here, and you're going to go to Cody's backyard. Yes, we'll take it. We'll see you there at Lay Lake. Andrew Dean, Matthew Clay, they got a single bass too, 146. You're in that Diet Mountain Dew uh, small bass award, but I'm sure you'll crack one over uh, later as well, and it might not be Diet Mountain Dew. Uh, you should be right about that. Tough yeah. day out there on the lake. I oh, was really tough. We almost put the whooping on them. We're going to get them next time. Get it. I wanna, I'm ready. I'm ready to see it. Andre Moore, Kim Bainmore, they got two bass, and I saw them catch one. I saw him catch one. Did you catch the other? I did. Good. I was like, because he would never let you live it down if you didn't. That's right. We had his and hers. You know our newest uh, episode on, on, the, on the water out there, you got 363 for these uh, two is what you got for snacks. You have the largest snack selection of anybody I have ever seen on the Alabama Bass Trail. We do, and I didn't even show you the prosciutto and crap. Shut the front door. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, our winners last week had, like, uh, chicken salad croissant sandwiches. So, <laughs> Well, uh, maybe we need to do that next time. And a cake. So you got to step up your game. Yeah, you said you were rigged for saltwater uh, eating, right? Yeah, lots of chippies. <laughs> Good job out there, Campbell. Well, for a catering boat. Yes, there you go. Yeah, do that. All right, Kevin Phillips, Robert Medes, you got five bass for 939. Almost got up in that 10-pound rain. Not close enough. Hey, but it's going to give you some points. We'll see you at Lake Lake. I know you like there probably better than here, at least today, at least. At least today. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll see you. Uh, Kevin Scales, Michael Howard, they got four bass, one shy of that limit. These fish are going to weigh A64 for you today. Just needed that fifth one. Yes, sir. Yeah, couldn't find it. Never had it on? Oh, we had it on. We just couldn't get it in. We're shaking it off. All right, thank you. <coughs> Clay Harris, Billy Norwalk, come on over here. And an extra. And they got a big one in there, too? Who called the big one? Raise your hand. Clay, you called a big one? It was your time, right? It was. It was. We had a good day, though. Uh, good day, and they got that limit. By what time was that again? Uh, before 7. Before 7. How far did you go? Uh, 225 yards. <laughs> They could see the ramp. Clay Harris, Billy Norwalk, moving to second place, 1836. How about a round of applause for them? Had a limit by 7 o'clock this morning. And I don't think you left that area, did you? Uh, we did eventually. Uh, it, was, it was lunch. Shut it down at lunchtime. Uh, what do you think about these guys? Uh, are you as good a fisherman as, as they are? Of course. Of course. I like that attitude. Did you ever miss any? Uh, yeah, we lost a couple. Uh, of course, he swiped on one when y'all went live, and then right. uh, lost one on a uh, shaky head, and I ended up losing one on the jig later on. The single bait hook's a different story. I, I get it on the treble. It's just a bad hook set or sleeping at the wheel. I don't know. Hey, go grab a couple of those bass. You're in second place right now. Mountain Dew Big Bass, we need 530. You got the five, the three, and the zero, but you got it in the wrong order. 503 for their big bass. You can grab one too. That way, it keeps uh, somebody from grabbing three. It, it, I, I don't hate. I hate that when people have three bass. It makes the others look small when you got two in one hand. Yeah. Uh, don't you think? I mean, you should never hold two fish in one hand. They yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got. And she she going double grippy. She doesn't want any BC headache powder action on that one. Well, she knows what the spotted bass do. They like to the flop. They crazy. They do. They are fighting fools. Yeah, I got to see them on uh, Facebook Live this morning. Chris Payne got to see you live from his boat this morning. Great job, guys, in second place. Blake Smitherman and Jacob Walker, boat 115. You're ready to get the heck out of here. I'm sure you got two bass, though. At least you got those two. Yeah, I'm proud of them, but couldn't sell the deal on any more. All right, let's find out where these two going to weigh. We'll drop them in there. Peppy, peppy one. Two bass, right, five and a half, exactly, 550. Thank you, sir. Move on to our next boat, boat number 90. Rob Kyle and Paul Williams got three bass in the boat. All right, when I'm seeing this odd number, 
who caught more, you or him? I caught two, but he caught the big one. So okay, kind of evened out in the end, though. Just not not on the numbers of bites today. We had three bites and we caught three fish, so all we could do. Good job on that execution side, at least. Let's find out. These three going to weigh around eight. Might need to weigh a big one. These three are going to weigh eight ninety six for your uh, your three bass. Who caught the big one? You say what would you catch it on, rather? Swimming a jig. Swimming a jig. All right, through the grass, I guess. Uh, no. 15 foot of water, swimming a jig. What was down there under the water that we couldn't see? Rocks. Rocks. But just, just swimming it right by. So is this a fish you graphed or just the rock area, rocky area you graphed? We just went on the current seam and throw up current, just reel it down and hop it. Gotcha. See, I went all the way to the dam? Yeah. All the way down there. Or up there. Just shy of our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Need 530. You got 491. But that's a good one. Very good one. Thank you, guys. Good job. Robbie and Lynn Pritchard up next. You can come over here. Lynn did not want to do it today. How'd it go? I didn't see how many you caught. How many did you catch? Three. Three bass. Couldn't get the four and five out there. Did you get any bites? Four bites, three keepers. Okay. The one that got away, though? No, nope. the one that got away and didn't have that fifth one. These three just going to give you some points today. Going to give you 580 for your three fish total. Thank you, bro. Todd Murphy, Copeland, Copeland Rosser. Got a good line in there. Keep things going. Next flight coming in in about six more minutes. About 3.39. How'd y'all's day go? Three fish? Uh, we actually caught them in the first 10 minutes. And All the, those three and then it shut off? Yes. Did you move? Oh, absolutely. A lot? Uh, I mean, we hit that spot multiple times throughout the day, but never could get another bite. 582 for those. Thank you, sir. Up uh, next, Joseph Van Sant, Pat Murphy. Boat number 113. They got three bass in the boat. Kind of getting away from that limit again out there. I'm, I'm sure you'd love to have a limit. Were you getting any bites at least? We got five bites. Caught five fish, two shorts. So they were a couple of unders and a 12 inch being the size of it. 519 for your total. Good job, brother. Thank you. I got a, a runny nose. You see me scratching, itching. I don't have the Bud Light virus. You don't have to worry about it. Tim Peak, Byron Smith. Hey, you got five. I'm glad to see a limit. Go. Good job. That's right. When did you have it by? Uh, nine o'clock. Good deal. Then you could upgrade all day long, right? No, that's right. Did you? Yep. Good deal. Ten ninety six for those five fifths. Excellent job, sir. Thank you. Next up, Keith Mayfield, Daryl Adams. Y'all just slow creeping behind me out there. Yeah. You look beat up for the feet up. I'm not gonna lie. Let's find out what these five way. You have a good day. You're gonna be in that top ten. You go get your picture taken. Mayfield and Adams, 1582. That's going to move them into the top five. Yep, believe that moves you into fourth place unofficially. Take a look at that. Good job, guys. Uh, tell me about your day. No, we didn't catch, but five keepers. Uh, those five. Those five. Caught, caught some drums and catfish. I heard a few people. The drum bite's on, I hear. That's right. Uh, what are we all catching them on? Rattle trap. Trapping today. I heard that a lot last week, but it's the first time I've heard it this week. But good job. Thank you. What turned you on to that? Practice? Yeah, pretty fishing. Good job. Uh, anything particular? I mean, is it grass uh, you're running it through or no? No, nah, just secondary points off flats. And they wanted that trap instead of a conventional crankbait. Go grab a couple of those bass, hold them up. Saw a lot of that with uh, mid, to, uh, mid to deeper crankbaits, but not any. Uh, you didn't ever see a lipless, did you? I didn't either. Good job. I'll drink to that. Oh, that's delicious. Dyed Mountain Dew's tasty. It is. Great job, guys, in the top five. Fourth with that uh, 1582. Right now, to get the top 10, you need 1444. John Sankbop. I did it again. Is it Bile or Beal? Dang it, I knew that. And every time I <laughs> I write things phonetically when I just constantly keep screwing up. John St. Beal and uh, Eric Bryan, you got that one bass. You just got to look at it as a points day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and you're around a good fish because this, this single is going to be 354. You just needed four more to match it. Yep. yep. That's a lot of swings and misses. Did you? A lot of hits, though, huh? Nope. 
Yeah, enough, but couldn't stick them. Got to get that execution down. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Look good in that ABT sweatshirt. The one you can't buy because we sold out. <laughs> Bill Lewis, Jeff Godwin. Oh, I, I, I told you, what are you talking about? They're next. 521 for you out there with those two fish. So it's going to give you some points. I mean, not not too bad. It was tough. Um, not many strikes. Two bites and two fish. Hey, you are excellent on the, on the hit ratio right there. Your fielding percentage is awesome. Dale Westmoreland, Jonathan Tutt. Speaking of fielding percentage, I wonder if my kid's still playing. You got two bass out there. They're going to be one of the point day, about two pounds a piece. 436 for you today. What were y'all throwing? Uh, shake your head and spinner bait. Shake your head. You ready to go to lay? Yes. You follow? Can't make it. Yeah. What? The big fish factory, you're not going to go? I know. It, it chaps your chap. Don't even want to think about it, huh? They shut me down, so I got to come in. So I don't blame you there. Thank you, brother. I'd, I'd be upset too. Eric Singer. All right, tell me, Eric, how do you say the last name? Is he up here? How do you say it? Nyla. Nyla. So it's simple. It's just like it's spelled. N Y I L A. <laughs> I'll get it 422 for you out there today. You having fun on the Alabama Bass Trail? Oh, yeah, definitely. It was, uh, it was a good time today. Uh, rough water, huh? Yeah, definitely. Beat you up. You, your leg's a little tired. <laughs> Back hurting mine is. Illinois. Illinois? That's a long drive. Yep, yep. Was it like nine nine hours and ten hours to get here? Well, that ain't bad. Yeah. You can't even get out of Texas. and that, that don't That's where I live. <laughs> it's cold, a little colder up there, though, huh? I bet you're glad for this warm 40-degree weather. Yep. I definitely like it a lot better. Good job. Hey, congratulations uh, on catching what you did today. It gives you points heading towards Lay Lake. Billy Adams and Lee Varner, Illinois. Boy, that's a long ways. Can you imagine driving from Illinois to fight this lake today? No. You wouldn't do it, would you? No. you quit fishing, wouldn't you? No. They're not quitters. Said no. <laughs> Billy Adams and uh, Lee Varner, 629. Not bad. Go give you some points. Good job. Later, brother. Guy Walter, Mike McCulley, they got a single bass because... You, you because, because it was tough, but you're coming across the stage because you know there's still a chance to make that championship. That's right. God told us he weighed in one last year and made the classic. That, that's the way to do it. That, that That's awesome. 236, and you can still win. Yeah, you win an event. You know, you move on to that cha team championship or uh, our championship, maybe get in that team championship later on. How many do we take? This, uh, it's the same, same each time, nine for the north, nine for the south, and we have a full 225 teams. Danny Lavoy, Sammy Bailey got five bass, and who caught the big one? Now, here's a big one in there. You catch it, really? Yeah, we caught it uh, second fish this morning. What'd you catch it on? Uh, big Bite Baits Fighting Frog. Big Bite Baits Fighting Frog, and they're our sponsors, and they could sponsor you a little kickback because you're moving up into the top of the leaderboard. Going to put you in fourth place, 1688 for Lavoy and Bailey. Good job. And that's five fish. Yeah, five fish. Uh, when did you have that fifth one on? Uh... 10. 10, or 10 or 11, that's a good day, so then you can kind of upgrade. Yeah, we caught probably four more fish, but nothing would upgrade. Good day fishing. Go grab a couple of those bass, hold them up for us. After we see what the Mountain Dew big bass possibilities are. 418 for that big spotted bass, so not quite there on the Mountain Dew big bass, but it's close. I'll drink to that. Got to hide this one. <laughs> and I'm just telling you right now, no, there's not alcohol in these drinks. I know a lot of people question my sobriety. <laughs> oh, my son won three to two. That's a close game. Yep. Thank you. Just, just keeping it up there. Yep. Thank you, brother. Good job. Looks like it went one for one today, too. Just, just letting you know. Will Kelly, Chuck Roberts, five bass. You know, you can win this thing with five bass. We going to win this thing? No, sir, not quite. You don't got 20 pounds? Come up. No, sir, a little bit short. We'll come up a little bit short. Let's find out what these five bass are going to weigh. You're over halfway there. Five for 12, 16. I bet you are proud. How many total fish do you think you caught today? Five. It's real easy to count when it's those five, right? Didn't have to call anything. Excellent job. Good job on the execution. Thank you, guys. All right. Moving on to Jim Beavers and Michael Wright. They got three bass in the live well. Not the largest fish I've ever seen you catch before, but these three are going to weigh 484. 
<laughs> what did you look out? Y'all had a personal bet amongst each other on how much they'd weigh or something. About five pounds, I thought. It's about five, just not quite five. Who caught more, you or him? I caught two, and he caught one. You gonna let him do you that way? I caught more throwbacks. <laughs> you caught more total, just a hey, one keeper. Hey, good job on catching those guys. Is that Tim Coons? Is that right? Counts. Counts. Yeah, he, I'm, I'm, I'm counting four fish on there. Him and Terry Fisher got four for just under 10 pounds. Look like 929 today. 929 officially. And I want to remind everybody everything I say is officially unofficial. How'd your day go? It was a long, hard, rough day. Did you ever have that fifth one on? We, we missed it about seven or eight times. Missed it in the net or just shake it off? Shake it off. Don't, don't, don't Taylor Swift that thing. We'll try it out to the next time. We'll see you at Lay Lake. You can do it there. Thank you, guys. 929 there total. Tim Counts and uh, Terry Fisher. Justin Walton, Chris Walton. Got two fish, and there's a big one in there I'm hearing. Really? Did you catch it or your partner? I did. Good deal. What you catch it on? Spinnerbait. Spinnerbait. You can jump up there and bite anybody. Dude, y'all around some good fish. Two fish that weigh 858. Wow. Did you have any other bites? Uh, short fish that I didn't know existed in Lake Jordan. Yeah, and, and shorter than 12 inches, right? Yeah. Didn't know they lived out there. You were around some good ones. So we got a chance. Brian Stifler and Ben Black have a single bass that weighs 530. Will Justin Walton and Chris Walton take over the Mountain Dew Big Bass? Oh, it's going to be close. They need 530. They got it. 548, new Mountain Dew Big Bass. Round of applause for these guys. Go grab that bad boy. Hold it up for us. What did it come on? What'd you catch it on? So, oh, that's, I knew that. Any particular size? Half ounce spinnerbait. Any particular brand? Any particular? I am slipping. Concussions? Over 20 concussions I've had. I hopped up on Mountain Dew. Half ounce spinnerbait. So getting it down there a little bit. Uh, tell me the blade combination. Uh, double willow leaf, gold and nickel. Gold and nickel. So you're going for the both colors. Half, and it was a half ounce because why? You trying to get it down a little bit or is it just like the size? Was it a big, big profile? Um, kind of. I mean, I could change it, make it. I could burn it and get it up top and slow roll it, keep it on the bottom. Just. Mix it up. Do what you wanted, yeah, but I'd definitely be throwing that half a set of 3H. Thank you, sir. Good job. Austin Seaman, Sugar Walker, you have taken over the lead in our Diet Mountain Dew Small Bass. You, sir, are already ahead of the ball game, but it is a bass that a lot of people haven't caught today. Yeah, yeah. She caught it, so it wasn't me. What'd you catch it on? Worm. Worm? Just dragging a worm? Hopping a worm? Flipping it in the grass. Just throwing it in the grass? Was it weightless or got weight on it? I had weight on it. I was like, it grassy wise. Good job. Hey, way to catch that one. You need to work on finding a partner to catch one next time. I don't know what you're going to do with him. Thad Hull, David Talley. Speaking of partners, did you both catch one today? Nope. What are you doing? Slacking. I'm telling you. He's going to get rid of me if I don't. I shoot. know, and we've talked about this before. Well, I give y'all trade off even. Every so often. Well, that's 664 for those two bass. You just needed three more to like them. That's all it was. Three more bites. Good job uh, what you did catch today, guys. Thank you very much. Ken Walter, Jason Beasley got four bass to the live well. Tell me you had a fifth one on. Tell me. No. Sorry, little man. No, we missed. I don't know. We probably missed a had, lot. Yeah, we probably had eight bites all day. These four weigh 1135. You needed that one. That would have been a big difference. Oh, yeah, definitely. Difference in a paycheck. Good job on what you did catch on those four guys. See you, little man. Who next? Josh Porter, Brandon Pritchard. They got two bass. Two that's going to give them some points. Going to get you towards that championship at uh, Lake Martin. You ready to go? We are. It's going to be a struggle. We wouldn't be up here if it wasn't for Lake Martin. 456 is points that a lot of these people won't have. That's right. Well, how, how many people do you think you're going to beat today? 40. 40? I think it's going to be more than that. Good job on catching I bet you it's more than that. Shay Baker, Ricky Baker, come on over here. Good seeing you back again, brother. Let's find out. I got one bass, and I know the objective is I hate to come coming up there and showing Robbie one bass, but you need to have that those points. 
Yeah, it's pretty tempting to throw that joker back, but going to Lake Martin for the championship, you know, I don't know why I needed a dose of humble pie, but I got a pretty big slice of it today. And uh, was it working you out there today? That was absolutely brutal. I ain't gonna lie to you, that's about as tough as I've ever fished, and uh, I ain't going back out there to make a cast for a while. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Lack of bites total. Yeah, I mean, we caught that one hair lift on a jig, and I wish he'd have come off for a little while. I said we could have gone on about 12 o'clock. But you don't want that. You want to get those points. All right, good to see you, Shay. Good to have you, brother. Welcome back, and let's have Tim Windsor on. And Mike Smith, what you got with five bass? I like seeing that limit. What time did you have it by? 10.30, mm, 11 o'clock. All right, that's a good day. Did you upgrade after that? Yep. Upgraded after that. These 10 bass going to put them in the top 10. 16.09 moves them inside just around that fifth spot. Does, uh, I believe, move you into fifth. Go grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up for the crowd. That does move them into fifth spot. Did y'all win the first game, Kate? Oh. I just want to reemphasize, my son won three to two. He went one for one. I don't know how he only had one at bat unless he got hit. Maybe a few walks or something. My son pitched, but he gave up the two runs they scored against us. Yeah, we can wait. Got a few rubs on there. Yeah, it ain't gonna. It, I don't think it's gonna be a five pounder. Good, good fish though. Come on over here, Ginger Gordy and Chad Smith, boat number one hundred and two. Who's this with us today? What's your name? Casey. Oh, man, you got all shy on me. How'd it go out there today? It was tough. I mean, we got a decent limit, but... Decent's 1387. That ain't bad. Hey, after today, we'll take it. My, I think it might be paycheck day, too. That'd be good. Yeah, we'll see if it holds on, but I think I could do it. Good job, guys. Chad, Ray, Chris Gentry up next. They got a five fish limit as well. I like seeing these limits. Come on over here, sir. I bet you like seeing those limits even more. Ooh. I'm ready to go home. Tough day getting that limit? Yeah. When did you get that uh, fifth fish? Uh, about, about 1 o'clock. Took you all day. These five going to weigh 1044. Good job on catching those, sir. Mike Hill, Kenny Hill. Do you have an Uncle Benny? What's that? Did you have an Uncle Benny Hill? That would be awesome. <laughs> Second cousin. No, he's not. We need to have we need to have walk up music. We got dun, 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 you know that that would be awesome. Hey, you got five bass for thirteen forty two. Y'all were doing something right today. I tell you what, with the practice we had, we're glad to get what we got. Practice not so good. Oh, it was bad. It, it was good, no fishing. Oh, hey, yeah. we had a good uh, day. We fished uh, one stretch, about a hundred yard stretch all day. Good job on catching what you did. Congratulations, Andy Osborne, Tim Tucker, come on up here. And he got the little lady with us today. They got four bass, about two pounds apiece, 803. Who's this with us? My grandbaby. Yeah? How you doing? You look like you're enjoying being up here. Did y'all ever have the fifth in a row? No. No. One short. One short. Good job out here. Good seeing you. See you next time. Mike Scroggins, Earl Andrews. Two bass today, huh? That's all yeah. Two. Did you and your partner catch one? He had two. He got... He really should think about getting a new partner, huh? Yeah, he should. 335, I believe, is what I saw on there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Move on to Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Steven Rogers, Jimmy Rogers got three bass there today. Couldn't get four or five, huh? No, that was it. These three going to weigh 785. Needed a couple more, and it got you up there in the money. Good job on what you did catch. Justin Anderson, Scott, the flying saucer, four bass. Were y'all flying around today, hopping around different spots? Yeah, we did, but it didn't help. It sucked. You know when you're running, you're not fishing. That's right. So we didn't run a whole lot. <laughs> Let's find out what these four are going to weigh. What were y'all doing? What were y'all throwing? Uh, shaggy head. We did, well, we did a bunch of different stuff. That's the way I caught them on. So. Good deal. Um, 763 for you today. You looking forward to the next stop at Lay? A lot more than this. <laughs> I bet so. Good to see you, Justin. Let's move on to Cody Farr and Rusty Mask. Got that single bass. 
Just take that butt whooping and head on to Lay Lake, right? That's it. We called it about 7.15 this morning. Well, at least you got it then. Because if, if you would have waited until 1.15, you might not have even been saying, let's just go. It would have been bad. Good deal on catching that one. Is that right? That's right. Dude, you're around good fish, too. So that kind of gets in your head, too. A 482 single fish. So you're saying, okay, I'm around biggins. Did you really stay in that area throughout the day? Yeah, we tried to make it work, but obviously it didn't. Yeah, you just fought it all day. Thank you, guys. Ricky Dunn, Trent Davis, dang, 482 for a single fish. He's going to beat a lot of people with two and three fish. Your single fish, Ricky and Trent, going to be just under two pounds, 190. Just a struggle today. Better than zero, and I guess. You're absolutely right. It's going to give you a lot of points that people aren't going to get. Thank you. Good job. Lewis Thornton, Willie Thornton, Team Thornton. Did y'all really get a limit? Good job. Got a limit early. What time? What time was it done by? By 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock had that limit. And they're going to be right at 10 pounds. Looks like just shy of that 980. Good job on catching five. And did you catch any more throughout the day to help your cause? Uh, two. Caught two more. Two, uh, after 12. Okay, good job on that. Good job catching those five. Will Davis, William Davis. Hearing a lot of shaky heads being thrown out there today. Did you happen to throw one of those? I did, but I caught them all on a shaky fish. Shaky fish. What is a shaky fish? It's kind of like a scrounger top bait minnow presentation. Gotcha. You got four bass you could, uh, for 10.04. Did you ever have the fifth one on? Man, we had a, probably five or six more chances, and it just, just didn't execute today. Come on, button. All right, thank you, brother. Good to see you. Well, let's find out what Shane Wallace and Anthony Colley have. They got five bass. I like seeing the limit. What time did you get that limit? 2.30. 2.30 late or late, late in the day. They, that's still fighting it, and it's going to pay off. 13.10 could get you a paycheck. It's going to give you some really good points either way. Take it. It was tough. It was a grind all day. Good job, and you look good in those Wadawi Marine Phoenix boat shirts. I just want to comment on how good you look. Michael Taylor, Stephen Johnson, they got three bass. I'm not looking at that Wadawi Marine Phoenix boat, but you look good too out there. You still got the suit on. I mean, it'll win and everything beating you up, is not it? Yeah, it's rough, rough. Let's find out what your three bass are going to weigh. 8.73 for you today. Good job on catching those. Let's find out what uh, Michael Squires and Tony Campbell have as we're working through our line up here. Four bass. I know you wanted five. Do you ever have the fifth one? No, we were never around a big one. Never. Uh, what about the fifth one, though? Oh, yeah. You did? You got a miss. Swung but missed on that one. It's all right. If you're not, if you're not getting the bites, then you don't have a chance at fifth. They all don't stay on there. Four bass, almost a two-pound average. Looks like four for 755. Unofficially, everything I say is officially unofficial. Austin Lang, Steven Turner got a single. Who caught it? You talked to me. Did you catch it in the net? Yes, I caught it in the net. You caught it then? Fish 100%, one bite, one fish. Really? <laughs> Who's driving? Me. I drive boat. Well, you're obviously a great guy. I mean, you put him on him. <laughs> you put him on him now. Uh, were you doing anything different than him? No, not a thing different. Just holding my mouth right, I guess. Yeah, I guess. What were y'all doing today? Just running seawalls with some swim baits and stuff. Why the seawalls? What made you pick that? Uh, because we were on a decent pattern, you know, in practice. Think it was the sun kind of deal, heating up that area or no? Yeah. The, the wind blowing in, current right there. Yeah. Just didn't work out. Um, how many days did you fish pr for practice? Three. Three days. What was your best day? Did you actually catch and see fish? Oh, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> if you would have had all those that you caught in practice today, how much would you have had? 16, 17 pounds. Damn it. it always. <laughs> Never fails. You did That's the Kevin Worth School of Fishing. I met him on the Elite Series back. He, he would always catch enough fish in practice that he'd win the tournament, but you don't get paid for practice. Definitely not. All right. If you had to do it all over again, what would you do? Uh, Bend those hooks? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. Good, good, good job, guys. All right, I'm going to take just a little bit of a break right here for just a second, or I'm going to go ahead and see if I can. Dang it, I won't figure out how I can do it. Let me give you the top ten. Uh, still, our Mountain Dew Big Bass, Justin Walton and Chris Walton have a 548 in the mix. Currently in 10th place, Joey Davis and Tulsa near with 1501. 1518 for Brett Cottle and Ryan Miller. Uh, currently in ninth, eighth place, Mark McKaig, Tim Hurst. Seventh goes to Randall Hamilton and Drew Blackman, while Keith Mayfield and uh, Daryl Adams in sixth. Fifth place, we have Tim Windsor, Mike Smith. Fourth place, Danny Lavoy and Sammy Bailey. Third is Mark Mott and Justin Mott with 1711. Second place, Clay Harris and Billy Norwalk, literally fishing a few hundred yards from here and had their limit in, in literally 45 minutes. And our top bag of the day so far, Noah Godwin and Cole Godwin. 
20.33 pounds. So, again, Clay's making his way back up there. Our tanks are uh, looking good, and they're working their way on up. He did. I thought he did it already. Oh, 350. 350. He, he didn't do it. Three, hey, but you know, everything I say is officially unofficial. You wait and get that ticket. 350. I was talking to him. I thought you'd already, we'd already done it. Steve Rogers and Leighton Brown got a bass. We'll find out, Leighton, what do we got there today? We got one for 339. You needed five at that 339 range. Then we'd have been in business. Yeah, I just need a little more time. I mean, it, I found that one at the end of the day, and then I had two more to jump off, and I had to come in. That was good, though. So what did you do at the end of the day? How did you make that change, or what was that change? I stayed at the dam. I just found the school. You found it. Good job on catching that one. Thanks for coming across. Kenny Smith, RJ Thompson. Five fish, and they're weighing a big one. Can they get up in that 20-pound range? Just moving into second, 1876 for Kenny Smith and RJ Thompson. Wow. Kind of mate. <laughs> kind of went our way today. We got lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Stumbled upon them, I guess. These fish you found in practice or what? No, we uh, found them at about 2 o'clock. <laughs> really? Did they just start turning on then? Or, I mean, you found that area? Yeah. If we, I think if we'd had another hour, we'd, we'd have really had a good shot at it. The one this thing. Yeah, RJ, RJ caught them there about four years ago. And uh, they, uh, they, just, they really lit it up right there at the end of the day. Going back to old history, uh, just a particular spot. Were there other people at that spot earlier? Or do you all just decide to try it? Believe it or not, we stopped in there a little earlier in the day, and there was like five or six boats, and we left there and w went back up river and come back and pulled in there, and they were there. Right there. Seeing them on the graph, too? No, they were shallow. Okay. I was going to say, what were y'all doing? So what was the bait of choice today? Well, we was flipping. Flipping. Yeah. Flipping shallow. Let's find out if we have a new Mountain Dew Big Bass. Need 548. Not going to get in that five range. Looks like 464. Grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up for us. Moving into second place, 1876. Yep, that was our the centennial year. Remember, because 1776 was. And then in 1976, they had this thing called the bicentennial. You going to make it to the tricentennial? I'm not going to make it that long. I'd be 106 years old. I'm not going to make it that long. They're going to have to come up with some new medicine if I am. I don't care how much CBD you take. You're not gonna, I'm not going to live to 106. I've never tried it. Well, I might have tried one. But. I mean, it was a gummy bear going bad. That's all I got to say. Good job. Excellent job. Kenny and uh, RJ stroking them today. 18 plus pounds. You need 15, 18 to get in the top 10. Ken Sessions, Greg Sessions. The fishing is now in session, or now it's closed. Our session is closed. Did catch one? We did. That's good, at least. Uh, I don't want him to have bragging rights on you. Yeah, that's right. That's what I finally figured out why we use them cages. Why? To keep them from eating. Mice. Skeet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to snook through there. These two are going to weigh 367. They're going to give you some points, though. Good job. Robbie Pelt, David Kaler, they got five bass. Our last flight checks in at what, 430, right? Yes, sir. Another 25 minutes from now. How'd y'all do today? Got five. That's good. You know, it's been tough practice, um, but we've... We figure something out. I guess. I'm looking at those five. You did figure something out. Go move in that top, right around top five, top six. Looks like 16, 13. Let's find out where that puts you. 16, 13 puts you in sixth place. That's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. It, 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 it was better than what I thought it was going to be. I'm probably, What'd you figure out? Uh, just a certain area, like literally a 100-yard stretch. So, uh, so it's a, a decent size area, though. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, we had a lot of company earlier, but they just got frustrated with it and left. So we You'd have had it all day? It would have been game over. Game over. Game over. Done. Hey, good job. You want to grab a couple? Grab a couple bass. Hold them up there. You moved inside the top ten. Got over 16 pounds. Robbie, great job. Yeah, just found that spot, 100-yard stretch. If somebody was on, do you know if those somebodies that were on that spot, do you know if they caught any today? They did. Oh, man. So you were sharing the wealth. Okay, how's the baseball game going? Loaded for you or loaded for them? Loaded for them. I've heard that so many times. Hope the wind. Wind's probably blowing out again. Thank you, bro. 
John Wilson, David Patrick, you're the next contestant on the Fish is Right. Let's find out what you got today. Is it a Mountain Dew Big Bass Day or is it a Diet Mountain Dew Small Bass Day? Well, I mean, there's probably like a four and a half in there. That's a good one. We only got four. Trying mm. to get that fifth one, but fifth one got off. No, they would just pick it up, and by the time we could get, we were drifting the jig down current. So by the time you'd think they were on there, it'd spit it out. So. Yeah, I, I hear you there. Um, Ten ninety six for these four, not bad. Just needed that fifth one. I'll take it. Good deal. Excellent job. So letting that jig just float on down. Yeah, I, and I, I do something, and my buddies that are pros, uh, you know, that, that fish now on the MILF Tour or the Bassmaster Elite Series, they, I used to hold the, what? Uh, I always used to hold my finger on the line, and they're like, dude, don't do that, because, I mean, you get one and latch onto that thing, it'll rip right through your finger. Darty and uh, Craig got 285 for your uh, total out there today. You're just going to have to look at this. And I got this many points, and there's a lot of people that ain't going to get that. That's right. That's all you can do. That's Way to keep fighting yeah. out there. I appreciate you coming up and talking to me today. Mitchell Jennings, Jeff Jennings got three fish. Did you ever have four and five on? Uh, had four on, didn't have five. So Had the fourth one there. These three going to get you a 557. I'll see you at Lay Lake. Yes, sir. See you there. Thank you, guys. Move on next. Larry Walter, Shane Patterson got a single bass. Going to look at it as a points day. How many, uh, how many points are we going to get? How much is this bad boy going to weigh? Uh, maybe two and a half pounds. Two and a half going to get you some points. Two and a half could mean three. Oh, let's split the difference. 284. Good job there. Thank you, sir. Like that Garmin hat, too. You know our, our top finisher is going to win how much from Garmin? $500 for our top finisher. If they win, how much they get? It's 500 Oh, they changed it. They get 500 on top of the 500? No, oh, I was like, man, I'm trying to give them some extra money. $500 is pretty darn good. And all you had to do is be the highest finisher. You don't even have to win to get 500 bucks. You got Garmin equipment? Yeah, we won it on you follow that. There you go. And, and you didn't do anything different. You just had it on there doing what you're supposed to do, right? That's right. Good deal. Let's find out what uh, McCullers and Welcher have. 435. You're not going to win today, but you're going to get some points. Thank you, brother. Scott Luster, Jordan Luster, two bass. All right, Jordan, where's the old man at? He's in the boat. He didn't want to come up here and talk to me. Tell me, you got two fish. Did you catch at least one of those? No. That's why I made you come up here, huh? Yes. Did you get any bites? A lot. A lot of it. What's wrong with your hook set? You've been practicing all your life. I don't know. They just kept on coming off, and I kept on getting them right up to the boat. And it was oh, all the way to the boat, too. That's tough. Uh, you ready for Lay Lake? We'll see you there in a month. Oh, yeah. I'll see you there, buddy. Good seeing you. 488 for your total, Jordan. Scott caught though. Alan Shiver, Gary Niles got five bass to the live well. What are they going to weigh today? How are you doing, sir? They good, good weight today? No, not too bad. So five so so guys. Five going to get you 1063 today. Well, I'm glad to have that. I'm glad you got it too. Good job, sir. Mark Wallace, Aaron, A. A. Ron Smith, come on over here. Three bass. And who's this? What's your name? Yeah? Do you like to fish, too? You look good in that ABT gear. Who's a better fisherman out of all three of you? Which one's the best one? Um, me. Me? Okay, I like that. I like the confidence. 636, that's how much I'm going to give you today. Okay, you good with that? Um, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll see you at Lay Lake, see if we can catch more than that. Russ Houghton, Troy Woodham. Man, hey, we got our, our Mountain Dew ad. Look, oh, look at him. He's doing sponsor mentions right there. Did you see that? Hang on, let me rotate the can. Awesome. He's going to put that on his resume. What, you, what else you got? Hold up your fish like you got a big fish. Hold them out there in front like you had a big fish. There you go. It's imaginary fish. There you go. You're doing good, little man. We'll see you at the next stop, and you can hold the real ones. Russ and Troy got five bass. I like seeing that. I'm sure you like where this weight is, right? We do. We do. Let's find out where they're going to move up. They're going to be up there quite a ways. 1765. That's good enough for fourth place. How about a round of applause for them? What a run. Got that Alabama Bass Trail gear looking good there, too. But uh, tell me about the day. Just went out, fished hard, threw spinner baits all day, like I'm sure most of the guys did, and come across some good ones. Wendy Banks? Yeah, most of them. I would say, was it bank stuff or was it out in the open? But uh, still, spinnerbait was a key to victory yeah. or key to a top five? Everything on the banks with the spinnerbait. Yeah. Good deal. Um, um, how many total fish do you think you caught? It was nine or ten. It wasn't a lot. That is a lot out there today. Hey, go grab a couple of those bass. Hold them up for us. 
They're still there. No, go grab them. Don't you don't exit the stage. You're in the top five right now. I know it's been a while, but you know, I mean, great job. My, my, yeah, I know. We can do that. Hey, this is the first stop after all. That's what I put all that pretty orange stuff on the floor. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna I wanna <laughs> come uh, commend you on your taping game. I don't know who did that. I, I thought it looked like your work. <laughs> It looked like his mama used to do that when he was younger. He'd seen that before. Whenever he, he yeah, that that uh, they they did look good. I commented. I said that earlier. Yeah, that was they look really good. You have definitely stepped up your taping program. I'm gonna have me another tic tac. Let's move on, Edgar Bulala, Philip Hoskins. They got four bass. Darn it. One shy, huh? Mr. Bowen. Really? Did you, did you ever have it on? Yeah, we had them on. We had like 10 on, and they got off. Ed let it off? Yeah, Ed let it off. Dang it. 10.63. You, you'd have been up there, maybe check range, if you'd have got that fifth one. Yep. Good job on getting some good points all today, guys. Thank you. Team Lyles. How do we say? De is it Demon? I know. I'm a <laughs> I said, is it demon? It's tomorrow. <laughs> I, I know. Hey, even better, I know a guy, last name's Dumas. Oh, okay. How you think that one is? You don't want to guess. Get me in trouble. Hey, you got this one bass. Who caught it? Talk to me. Um, I netted him. You caught it then. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you got to look at it as like, hey, you, you got to catch weight. I mean, you got to get a bass across the scales, and you did that. You still got four more stops. Which one's going to be your favorite stop? You follow. You follow. 111, you're in our Diet Mountain Dew small bass. Make sure you grab a Diet Mountain Dew on the way back. Maybe grab two or three of them because you're our leader right now on that. You're going to get some point. You want to hold it up? No? You sure? You look really good in ABT gear. Hey, I'll see you at Lay Lake. You're going to stomp them there. I feel it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Damone. And you caught one more than uh, quite a few people. I can promise you that. Matt Hedrick, Matt McClung. You got five, though. When did you have that limit by? One o'clock. One o'clock. Took you throughout the day. These five going to be about two pounders, it looks like. Five for 935. Good job on catching those. I know they weren't the right size, what you were looking for. Yep. You did it. Jace Thompson, Thomas Eden. Got a single bass, but that, that could be the, the one that puts you over, you know, for the championship. That was a tough one out there today, only for sure. It, it, he's sitting there going, you ain't lying. Let's find out. And it's a two-pounder, 202. That's what I'm going to give you. Good luck uh, on, the, on the points. You're going to beat a lot of people. Where would I'm going to see that at the end of the day. Where would a two-pound bass, because you're going to have a lot of singles, where would that two-pound bass get you? Five fish for Lanier, uh, Burton, and Michael Keel. Five bass, how long did it take you to get five bass? All day long. All day, and it paid off. Happy to have you. Let's find out what these five weigh. Almost 15 pounds, 14.98. You were struggling pretty good. Hey, we had a rough go out there. I knocked my motor clean off Wednesday up in the river, and I only caught... Wait, a speed? Did you hit something? What happened? Hit a floating log up in the river oh. Wednesday. I want to thank Chris Rutland for... He towed me in, but, yeah, I knocked my motor slap off. Broke the motor mount. Never seen it. It is out in the middle of the water. Well, I know. Oh, it's still hung. It was hanging by the controls. And right. The, uh, trim. All the cable stuff. Dang it. Good job on what y'all did today, guys. Excellent job. Hate to hear that about the motor. Jack Tibbs, Josh Allman. Yeah, the floating logs, things like that. You got to worry about that when uh, when you get all these heavy rains. 378, just take those points and run, right? Yeah. Run, get on out of here. Second to last flight checking in right now, or just a second ago. It's 416. Mike Audrey, Jerry Simpson got two bass. What are they going to weigh? Five pounds. Five pounds for these two. Let's find out. That would be how much? Two and a half pound average? You just done it. You got a two pound average instead. He's an overguesser. I realize that. 414. That's all I can give you no matter what he says. Thank you, guys. Moving on next. Going to try and cruise through here. Joe Williams, Casey Autry, you ready to go home? You don't want to talk to me. No, sir. You're ready to hit out. Let's take a look really quick. Collin Industrial, Black Ridge. I like that. Rough Country, Thompson Country, Lit Vodka. Ready to hit some, right? Yes, sir. All right, throw some in that Mountain Dew. We'll see how that goes out. 497 today. Take those points, and I'll see you at Lay Lake. Thank you, guys.
Who's next? Alan Brown, Frank Henry. Got five bass. I like that, so especially when I'm hearing you got a big one. Who called the big one? On what? Big Bite Baits. Big Bite Baits. One of our sponsors and one of your successes out there today. Um, any particular Big Bite Bait, or are you going to let me know? Think of. You mean a stick bait? Yeah, stick bait. I was like, because Gary Yamamoto would appreciate you saying that. <laughs> I could see that. Is that total is 11.72, but you got that big one out there. Was it an all-day affair? All day. All day, I like it. Keeps things interesting. Let's find out what the Mountain Dew Big Bass is. We need a 548 to take the lead. Is it not going to get it to five? He's shaking his head sideways, not vertically. Not It's what we need. He's shaking it horizontally. It didn't splash. That's good. 548 is what we need. You do have a four-pounder, though. 423. So good job. Excellent job. And get good points. We head to Lay Lake, and you're doing good. Keep, it, keep that rolling. Enjoyed it. See you, see you next time. Parker Vincent, Thomas Vincent. I talk about Lay Lake. I talk about points, and this is a, a points run right here. You come across because I need this one fish to make the difference, right? Oh, yeah, to make the difference. Not starting off the season the way you wanted to. Who caught the single fish? This guy. What were you doing? Uh, I was just netting them. <laughs> uh, 306, you just needed four more like a Good job on catching that. Thank you, guys. Believe it or not, that 306 is going to pass a lot of people. John Skipper and David Sherrill, boat 151. We're trying to figure out what we're going on with our boat numbers up here. I like seeing five bass. That, that is a good thing. I'm sure you like it more than I do. Uh, how many total fish do you think you caught today? Uh, probably 10. Probably 10 fish. Just You're the most disappointed five bass limit recipients I have seen up here today. Well, I was hoping to catch some mega spots up here, but we didn't, so it's, it's okay. We enjoyed ourselves. You got five for 959, so I, I know you wanted a bigger, bigger size of those five. That's points. Yeah, you're exactly right. Good job. Excellent approach. Stephen Morris, Matt Van Zant. Got four bass. I know you wanted five. Was it ever on? Uh, yeah, my partner had it uh, flipping a uh, big bite kamikaze crawl. That's what we caught all our fish on. I mean, we didn't have, we didn't catch a lot, but we were fishing for big ones. and we, They just didn't bite. These four are going to weigh seven ninety five for you today. Thank you, brother. We'll see you at Lay Lake. Shane Powell, Tim Fox, come on over here. One bass. Did you catch it? I did. Luckily. Great job. No, it, it ain't luck. It's all skill. It's been luck. Unless it was just a blind cast with a spinnerbait. Blind cast with a crankbait. <laughs> it may have been luck. I'm not going to lie. 302 for you, Dave. Way to go. We'll take it. You got luck into that 302. Good job. I think you're in a tie, too, because didn't we have a 302 just a second ago? <laughs> I believe it was. Derek Hutchins, Jay Hutchins. They got five bass in there. Are you kidding me? Even with this guy, you got five? That's, that's, who, that's who called him. Who <laughs> Even with this guy, you call five? Yeah, we got him. Five for 13.08. Y'all did something right today. That might even be a paycheck the way it's been. Okay. Be yep. glad to see it. What were y'all doing today? I always threw a jig all day. Jig, both of you jig fishing, both in the front, one in the front, one in the back? That's right. You did a good job. Uh, how many times have you been to Jordan before? Oh, we've been here several times, yeah. What about Lay? Several times, yeah. What's your favorite out of the South? Probably, probably lay between lay and you fall. You know I'm gonna hold you to it now. You're like, hey, this is a favorite. I'll see it, lay. Good job. Hey, give give him some schooling. You know, help, let him help you a little more next time. Clinton Nail, Kevin McCaleb. They got two bass for five ninety three. So right around that three pound range, just just needed more numbers. Get three more. Yeah, we done good with three more. Good job. On what you did catch. Thank you, sir. Holman and Thrash, boat one forty three. They got five bass. Let's find out what these five gonna weigh. They're doing good. or a little over 10. Looks like 1070 on the money. Not a bad day. This is going to be one of them points deals. Not bad. Got five bites and caught five. That's great execution. Oh, yeah. That's all good job, brother. We'll see you next. Brandon Hurst, Mike Freeman got five, too. Was your execution just as good? Five for five? Yeah, we didn't lose anything. I heard us. That's good. That's good. Ooh, I thought I saw one good one in there. Yeah, we got one decent. One decent, he says. You got more than one decent one. You're going to move into uh, the top five. Hurst and Freeman. Where did he put them in? 
Erston Freeman into fifth place with 1726. Good job, sir. I saw that one big one, and I'm like, you, you were like playing up. Yeah, one. No, you had to have some decent weight to get over 17 pounds. Yeah, we still have one small one. We need a cold. We just fooled around and wasted too much time this morning. What do you mean? Well, we, we tried to do some stuff. Didn't work. Work and practice. Didn't work. So we stuck with it too long and uh, scrapped it and just don't we know what to do. Went off of your, uh, you started then the fishing out there instead of the predetermined practice thought. That's exactly right. Yeah, we should have done that sooner. Good job. Go grab a, we're going to weigh the big one or no? What? Oh, you're going to hold them up either. Oh, go, come here. Come on. Oh, I, I, was, I was ready to whether we're going to weigh the big one. You're going to show it off either way. I'll tell you, that is a pretty Phoenix boat. I just want to let you know that. It's middle time. And that's not an alcoholic beverage advertisement. That was Mr. Miller. Is it? They own Miller welding machines? Oh. I was like, hang on. I need to talk to them a little longer. Actually, I think I know those people. Miller Electrics. I don't know if they're down in Texas. They sponsor a lot of motocross guys. I don't know if it's welding people. My nose itches. What does that mean? Somebody talking about you when your nose itches? Somebody's talking trash right now then. Rick Gunnison, Andrew Tarver, five bass. Neither of them want to talk to me because y'all don't have 24 pounds. If you did, you would. And I don't know. It ain't going to take 24 to take the lead. You just need about 21. You do have 1388, though, so not bad. We'll see if we get you a check. It, it could happen. Yes, sir, it could. I'm going to find out in just a second. I'll let you know. Hey, Clay, when we get a break for just a second, can we find out where the top 40 is as it stands right now? Do you think that's going to get you a paycheck? I have no idea. Good day, though. Good day. I bet you did. Hey, that's a good day fishing. We'll find out after the next one. Let's find out Michael Cox and Colt Boy yet. They got five bass. I see one in there. You needed five like that one, right? Yeah, we're happy with what we got. It was it was a grind, and and we'll we'll come back and, and try to rebound. Eleven forty eight here in the money as it stands right now. We'll see if we can hold on. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's gonna hold, but we're optimistic about it. Good job, great great job. And yeah, officially right now we have a ten ninety six. We just happen to have two people tied at ten ninety six and a ten ninety five. Oh, Chris Rutland, Kobe Gardens, the one that's one one hundredth outside looking in. Ooh. Chris and Kobe. Either way, they, they're happy where they're at because uh, they, uh, again, struggled all day and caught them towards the end. Stuart Lucas Jr., Josh Locke, they got three bass. Needed number four, number five to get up in that payment range. 8-12, though. Not bad. Not bad. Could have been better. A lot better than a lot of people. <laughs> That's for sure. I promise you that, brother. I'll see you late, late. How does Sanford's son do? Let's find out. Will Sanford and uh, Grant Sanford, two bass. Did you each catch one today? Piece. One a piece. That's good. At least you're sharing the wealth. These two bass going to weigh about three pounds a piece. It looks like six twenty nine. Not too bad. Good job. Round the right size fish. Scott Woodward, Colby Robinson, come on over here. Yeah, we got a full tank, so I'm gonna try and go through as quickly as possible. Three bass. Did you have fun today? Uh, no. No. If you had five for fifteen, would you have fun? Yeah. Five for fifteen would have got him in the fun zone. But right now we're gonna have three, four. No, I didn't mean three for four. But that's what you got. Three for 433. Now I know why you weren't having as much fun. Thank you, sir. Good job on catching that. Russell Weldon, Tommy Bass got four bass. Did you have that fifth one on? Never? Never got it. Dang it. I'm pulling for you. These four are going to be right around 10. Looks like 956 for a day. Good job on those four fish, sir. Next up, boat number 173, Daniel Fogel, Neil Watts. They got four bass, too. Dang it, everybody just coming up just short of that limit. Did you ever have it on? No, sir. Not the bite. Never had that fifth bite. What were you, what were you throwing today? Shaky head and chatter bait. Shaky chatter. Chatter shaking. 10.05 for those four. Good job, sir. About two and a half pounds apiece. Taylor McNeil, Taylor Luna. They got five bass. Finally, another limit in a while. It took a while. How long did it take you all to get that limit? Oh, we got a limit pretty quick. 30 minutes? Just, yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes. Lit, missed a lot of opportunities today, but it is what it is. Did you miss them in that 30-minute stretch? Yeah, we let off a couple. That's not good. Let's find out. These five going to get you at 12.17. Right now, that's in the paycheck. We'll see if it can hold on. Right around 11 pounds is uh, paycheck time. With that one, move it up. Kevin Allman, Brandon Sutton got three bass for you today. How'd your partner do today? Tell me how he uh, performed. 
He caught all three. Yeah, and that's why he made you come up here, huh? That's right. He caught them the last 45 minutes of the day. He tells you to stick with it. You didn't have one until the very end? Until the very end. That's an awesome job. Three for 751. Look at where that puts you at the end of the day. That is amazing. Last 45 minutes of the day catches three bass on a struggle day. Yeah, it made a massive difference. David Hutchins, Todd Spencer got four bass. Small ones, but huh? There, but there was four of them. Yeah, there were four. Didn't get, didn't ever have the fifth one. Uh, we, 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 we lost. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, that was size that you knew was going to make. Oh no, no, just, okay. just another one. Like we uh, got four forty for you today. Thank you guys. Thank you, sir. I'll see you at Lay Lake. Got that storm going. But one sixty-seven. Corey Cole, Corey Ingram. Corey and Corey got five bass for a grand total of what? How much? Not much. Not much. Five for ten. Ooh, I'm close. Five for ten twenty. So not bad. Not bad. Good job on what you did catch, guys. Just outside the buddy right now. Let's bring on Mark. What you got, Mark Sushi and Storm Clark. Four bass. Darn it, I love seeing five. Storm, I, did you ever have the fifth one? We did not. Did not. So you executed on the ones you did catch. Who caught more? We did. We did. As a team, I like the way you do that. Who caught more? We caught more. Dang, one more would have made the difference, too. 10-25, it's a strong day, though. Good job. Go get some good points out of that one. Thank you. Ken Morris, Mark Van Zant. Three fish, huh? Three fish. We had three bites, three fish. Great on the execution. Let's find out what these three are going to weigh. What were you throwing? Uh, shake your head. A lot of presentation. These three bass going to be 563 total. Thank you, sir. Okay, quit yawning. All those good stacks. Come on up here. Don't go hiding way back there. Jason McLean, is that Michael Meeson, and five fish. That's a good day of fishing here on a day when a lot of people are struggling to catch a single bass. That's what I think, too. It was rough, and I had a terrible practice. How, how many total do you think you caught today? Seven. Seven fish. But your five biggest going to get you 961, going to give you some good points. You head to Lay Lake, and I'm sure you like Lay Lake, right? Yes, sir. I don't know why you wouldn't. I like Lay Lake. Good job. Jeremy Till, Wayne Johnson. The Rock. Got one fish, though. My partner's too embarrassed to come up here and watch. I, I don't get it. I do not get it. Who caught the fish? He did. Well, that's why I made you come up here. <laughs> 220. Yeah, 220. He, he put it on you there. Let's see how many more boats are. Final flight checking in in one minute. Jeff Morgan, Tim Van Eggman. One bass. Brutal. Brutal, huh? Yeah. Wind whipping you? No, just missed them. Had the bite. Really? Yeah, just missed it. Short striking? I knocked the shit out of it. And then Dang it. it wasn't there. 255 on what you did catch. Good job. He put the hammer down and put the snatch matic pulled it right out of his mouth. That's what I'm hearing when I hear that. Joey Adderhold, Jonathan Collins got three bass. Did y'all put the snatch matic on? Did you have those bites? We missed the first three bites we had. Three would have got you up to five, possibly. Absolutely. Dang it, but instead these three are going to weigh 780. We're going to have to see it lay late, see if you can get that limit there. Next up, Mike McCall, Reed McCall, but 178. And I like it when they say we're in a big fish. I'd like it even more if you had five, but you got four today. Four is all we had to bite today. You look good, Alabama Bass Truck. Got your Stratus still there, TH Marine, Atlas Awards, Citra. Man, you did. Trying to get them all on there. Looking good, looking good. These four are going to weigh 12 and change. One, two, three, four. 12.34 for you today. You caught the big one, didn't you? No. <laughs> you didn't have the net out? I got the net. There you go. You caught the big one. That's what I'm talking about. All right, tell me how the big one came about. On a jig about noon today. Jig at about noon. What depth are we looking? About three feet. Three feet. Super shallow <laughs> for what I've seen out here. Our Mountain Dew Big Bass right now a 548. Don't know if it's going to get in that territory, but we're going to find out. Just under a pound shy. 450. That's a good fish. Two pretty good ones. Can he you absolutely can. Go grab a couple of those big ones. Hold it up there. Excellent job on the Alabama Bass Trail. Got a 450 and a three-something probably. Right at a three. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good one. At least you didn't you, you didn't grab both big ones. That was good. I, you, <laughs> Come up there to those X's. Great job. Holy smoke, my. Throat's getting sore out here talking all day. It's not because of the the Bud Light virus. I, I went to sleep early. I was in bed by 
Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I was bed. I was bed by eight thirty. I was not. I, I went and watched a Montevallo baseball game. It was a slugfest. The good team won. Charlie Brock, Steve Thompson. They got one fish in here, and they are proud to have this single fish. And what's your name? Sophie. Sophie. I like that, Sophie. I, I, uh, I wish they would have caught more than one fish, but I'm sure they probably wish they caught more than one fish too, right? We didn't want to show out in the first turn. I know, I know. Raise your hand if you caught the fish. What you catching on? Uh, William Davis. William Davis shaking head. What was he doing? Uh, net boy. Come on, Steve. One thirty nine for that, and that is not our Diet Mountain Dew small bass. So y'all beat that one. Good job. Great job. You don't get anything from it other than maybe a couple of Diet Mountain Dews. Keith or Chris Hethcox and uh, Chris Miller got five bass. Where you at? Come on over here, guys. Miller and Hethcox are eyeballing these fish. 1214 is a great Dallas area code, but it is not going to work on the fishing for getting into money today. But you got five. How many total did you catch today? Six. Six. Good job. You caught a lemon. A lot of people couldn't. They're proud to have what we got. You got it. Good job. Thank you, guys. Robert Croxton, Mark Compton. Got three bass in there. When I see an odd number, who caught more, you or him? You got it? Hey, you alternating partnerships out there. Let's find out these three going to give you points. How many points are going to give you? Okay, we're going we're gonna to weigh a diet mountain dew small bass. Okay, so we got three for 522, and evidently you got one killer in there. Yeah, we had a squeaker. Yeah, is it going to have a hard time? It, we're not, are we afraid it might sneak through the basket? Oh, it, it, it may. I think, what was our small one though? It was like a one something, wasn't it? Like a 117 or something? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's, you got a chance of this. And, and you are drinking the Diet Mountain Dew, too. So you're saying there's a chance. I, and, and as good a sportsman as you are, I know you're going to hold it up for us here in just a second. Oh! Now I know why they want them to wear it. We have fun with guys. You know, sometimes we call it the Diet Mountain Dew Small Bass. Robert Croxton and Mark Compton have one bass that weighs a grand total of 0.83 pounds. How about a round of applause because that's a, that's a monster 12-incher, but you know what? It is going to get you a ton of points for that 0.83. I, I guarantee it. Go grab that bad boy. Hold it up. Don't You better get a wide-angle lens if you're going to get all of that fish in there. Oh, yeah. Sun right there on the X's. Hold it next to the can. Yeah, right the can. <laughs> hey, no, hang on, hang on. Yeah, dude, we got, we got the, di the signage right there. There you go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our Diet Mountain Dew Small Bass of the Day. I think that, what, what was, what's our champion of uh, all time? What was it? It was point, point, point two six. <laughs> hey, what was that point? That was point eight three. Hey, so ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't watch the Alabama Bass Trail and alabamabasstrail.org, that bass was a keeper bass at .83, right? Our smallest bass ever, you won't believe this, .26. You saw how big that monster was, the .26. Yeah, I just said it, but .26 is our all. I don't think that'll ever be passed, do you? And that's 12 inches. Eric Morris, Ben Williamson, you didn't have a, a .83 in there, did you? A negatory, but uh, we didn't have anything at about 12 o'clock. So we got one stretch of about a uh, 20-foot stretch of bank that I can feel where I've been dragging stuff down it for the last uh, four hours. You are putting the owie in Wadawi? That is exactly right. 1092 for you today. We thought we saw you out there in the water. We chased you. We were going to see, but it was somebody else with a beautiful boat like yours. Well, trust me, we didn't slow down that much. That Phoenix was running somewhere between 75 and 80, depending on which side of the current we were on. All right, good job, brother. Thank you. Brent Godwin, Michael Braggett, got five bass. How'd it go? Uh, for the last six hours of the tournament, we fished with a dead trolling motor, so to get five, we say we're blessed. You stroked it, 1039. That's awesome, brother. Good job. Thank you. Excellent job. Out there only with a big motor, sitting in a spot and just making the most of it. Foster Bradley, Nick Harris, I'm sure you've probably been there before with the trolling motor having issues and having to focus on what's in front of you. You got three today. Was it just tough fishing? No, I Ready to go home. Just beat up, huh? <laughs> These three going to weigh 734. We're just ready for lay. 
All right, I'm ready for see it late. Thank you. Foster's over there going, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm about over this place right now. Justin West and Alan McDonald going to weigh a big fish. They got five bass in there. You got one good one, though. Who caught the big one? What'd you catch it on? Can't tell you that. Why not? Caught it on a rattle trap. Were you? I, somebody did have a rattle trap earlier, and I, w I wouldn't doubt it. And they had a pretty good bag. Yeah, yeah, I caught it about an hour ago. Big, uh, big rattle trap or a smaller size? Just a half ounce. Half ounce, that mid size, twelve eighty three. That's good. What's the big one go away? You think? Uh, probably four and three quarter. Four and three quarter means it could get up in that five pound range. Right now, our Mountain Dew Big Bass, Justin Walton and Chris Walton, have a five forty eight. But I mean, it, it's close enough. We need to do it. What time of the day did the big one come in? About an hour ago. That's awesome. That's fun. That kind of puts a little cherry on top of that. Yeah, we got rid of a twelve incher with it. Oh man, even better. 434, so right around what you thought it was. Great job, guys. Excellent job in uh, what you did catch today. Move on to Chris Miner, Eric Staggs. That's a pretty looking boat. What's your name? You wish Yeah. What do you got in your pocket? Where'd you sneak that from? From back there. From back there? I don't blame you. I grab one too. They're delicious. How'd y'all stay go? It was tough. It was as hard as I've ever fished. Yeah? You still fought it off for 1209, so that's pretty good. Thank you, sir. I mean, it was hard. That was five, five, five bites. Good job. Way to execute. 1209. David Stewart, Adam Parker. Five is alive. I like seeing that limit. I'm sure you do too, huh? After the practice we had, yeah. Hey, practice makes perfect. Oh, you know what makes perfect? Perfect practice. Yeah. One for one in about three weeks. <laughs> that's perfect. Because it's game time now. What do we have there? Oh, I had to read zero. Evidently, they were uh, living well uh, peppy in there, huh? A little bit. Got that Coosa Cotton hat on, a Toyota guy, Alabama. I like that shirt. Did you just get that shirt last night? Yeah, yeah. It, lucky shirt. <laughs> lucky shirt. Y'all got thirteen ninety four. You're going to make a paycheck today. That's good. Good job. I feel it. What you got for tonight? Well, uh, today, I had oh. grilled seaweed. It was actually, Kay didn't like it. And uh, what else did I have? Yeah, it, it was delicious. Wait, what did you? Wait, what did you have? What did you have for snacks? Because again, I, I say this behind every great angler is a, a greater snack bag. We had some zebra cake. Zebra cake. What are those? Little Debbie's. Oh, little Debbie's cakes. I got you. I didn't have one of those in so long. Tim Miller, Vernon Miller. I like that. What you got for snacks? I had grilled seaweed. Have you ever had grilled seaweed before? Probably needed some today. Yeah, it didn't put a little. Giddy up in your step. 205 for you today. Thank you. Good job, sir. Thank you. Up next, Ron Kitkowski, RJ Kitkowski got two bass. Tell me the Kitkowski's got one apiece. Tell me. That ain't the case, is it? Yeah, you're shaking your head. You got them both, huh? Oh, uh, yes. What happened to the other Kitkowski? Uh, I'm not for sure. We'll what happened today? I don't know. 542 is going to still give you some points. Good job on catching those two guys. RJ and Ron exit the stage. We bring up Walter Lawrence, James White. Let's see what you got. Boat 205. So you got that you got that nice early flight you wanted. Uh, absolutely. 887 ain't too bad. <laughs> no, hey, it's better than our practice days. Perfect. You just keep tomorrow, who knows what you could get. Oh yeah. And I'm sure you're going out there too. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, you're so full of it. There is zero chance. Peyton Goggins, Brett Reeves, come on over here. Got one of those new ABT shirts. Got one bass. So you're saying, hey, I got to do it. I got to get those points, right? Yeah, got to get what you can get. Who's this with us? Yeah, it's uh, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. You having fun? Yeah? Yeah. Get a little shy. This single bass going to weigh 313. You got around a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's points. That's all I can say. Just needed more of those just like that. Good job, sir. James Nichols, Stephen Castleberry. <coughs> got four bass in the live well today. Did you ever have that fifth one on? A few times few times you or your partner shook it off i did partner caught them all i was net man darn it well at least you caught them in the net 772 thank you thank you sir let's find out what jimmy harrison and franklin clark have they got five bass got any big ones in that mix come on over here no, no big ones i was like you're eyeballing them like oh there's a big one what are these gonna weigh what are they gonna weigh around eight pounds around eight uh -uh. the reason i'm it was a grind. Uh, dude, I, you're not telling me nothing. I was out there for a while. Two o'clock, I had one fish. We just pulled up on a point and caught four. Way to hammer them at the end. 1069, not too bad. You did two and a half pounds more than what you thought. Bad guessers right there. David Newman, Adam Patterson. 
Final flight has checked in. We'll motor through these and uh, check all of our numbers, find out what this single fish is going to weigh, and you were so happy to have that single fish, are you? Yeah. When did you catch it? Uh, probably around 10 o'clock. So you had to wait a long time to try and get that next one? Yeah. This single's going to weigh 156. It's not our small bass. You've seen that. It was like 0.83, I think, earlier, or 8.6. Chuck Collins, David Pollard, they got five bass. I like seeing that. Yeah. Did, uh, did your partner catch any today? Well, we caught three apiece and caught one. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Going to weigh 762, that's not so good. What else? What, I thought I was on Lake Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'll, we'll give you that shot if you can make it to the championship, right? I heard that. We'll see you there, brother. Thank you. Mark Cameron, Tanner Ellison, they got five bass too. I like seeing that. That's good. All right, let's go through the sponsors real quick. Yamaha Zoom, Lou, Strike King, uh, Nathan's Paint and Body. Oh, dang it. I, somebody got my rental car over there. I need Nathan to take a look at it really quick. How did it go out there uh, fishing? Uh, practice was kind of rough. Uh, fishing turned out all right, 11.22. Yeah, uh, first thing this morning, Mark got on a couple, and I was a little butt hurt, honestly, because by 1 o'clock I hadn't had a bite. And uh, But he got a couple? Yes, he had a couple. And uh, He didn't turn you on to anything? He tried. It was all my fault. Uh, but I redeemed myself this afternoon, caught three or four, and uh, we ended up what we got. Way to whack them. Good job. Excellent job, guys. Douglas Shower and Joseph Shower got four bass in the live well for eight eighty six, about uh, two and a third apiece. Not too bad. Pretty rough. Pretty, uh, did you ever have the fifth one on? We did. We did. And? It might have been big. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Might have been a good fish. So you were fighting it? We were fighting it, and it broke off. Jig kind of fish or what? It was actually on a shaky head. Shaky head, too, so you don't want to fight it too much, do you? We don't. No. Well, so what was your shaky head line? Uh, 12 pound four. 12. All right. Thank you, sir. Good job. Adam Long, Eric Deering have three fish for a total of 526. Just going to be one of those points. You're going to see a lot of people in that five pound range. You just need to beat some of them. Yes, sir. Good job on that. No, good, good job on catching those three. Thank you. James Faulkner, come on over here. Again, getting down to the end, we can't. Uh, our last flight comes in at 4.30. Shut the scales down at 5 o'clock. It's about 16 minutes from now. Y'all got this one bass. Could put you over the top when it comes you know, to championship qualifying, and you're around good ones because that 363 did you right. Yeah, it was a pretty good fish. It was fun. What would you catch it on? He caught it. What would he catch it on? A crawl. You caught it on a crawl. What were you doing when he was catching that big fish? Getting the net. Then you caught it. It's a team tournament. Thank you, guys. Good job. Dustin Johnson, Michael Strotter. Come on over here. And another young lady. Let's find out who's this. Riley. Hi, Riley. You're like, what is wrong with you? Up there talking in that microphone. 161, so you got to do a points day kind of deal, right? Yes, sir. Um, struggle all day getting bites or do you shorts or what? Uh, really bites. We've seen a lot of fish and a lot of fish were moving, but none of them were taking the bait. Saw them on the graph or uh, busting kind of thing? Oh, busting. They were schooling like crazy. Really? Oh, dang, man. That's tough. Good job on catching that one, though. I know uh, that would have hurt you. All right, James. Tell me how you say it. Doramus, I got it. <laughs> and we got Kenneth Malone. Four fish for 663. Y'all needed to get in some bigger size, didn't you? Yes, sir. And you need to get that fifth one on. Did you ever have the fifth one? No, sir. It happens. Out of all five stops, which one's going to be your favorite, do you feel? I know it's not this one. Lay. Well, that's next. You know that, right? No, Give me a guess. Hang on. Before you get on, what are you going to catch at Lay? Give me your best guesstimate. Fish. And I'm, I'm assuming five, right? You're going to walk You're. 21 and a half is what you're saying. What are you saying? I say 20. Okay. Why are you Remind, he, because he's wanting to split it right around 20, 21. He didn't want to get greedy. Tab Adams, Sack of Rivers. How many fish is that? Three fish for 638. You're going to beat quite a few people with that 638. You're going to be surprised. I, no, I'm telling you, you are. How many do you think you'll beat? 20? Nah, I think you'll be, uh, I think you'll beat 50 to 60 people. Really? Yep. That's good. I think so. Good job. Come to me at the end and tell me how much or where it, where it throws you. Marty Gid and Steve Fincher got three fish for eight seventy. Smoked them today, didn't you? Killed it. It happens. Hey, you just sometimes just have those days. You got lay coming up. Yeah, hopefully it'll be better in the day. We'll give you a month to practice and then see what you do there. Yep, sounds good. To me. All right, thank you. Yeah, Lay Lake. Uh, one month from this weekend, we'll see Stanley Fairchild and Bill Granberry there. And hopefully have more than these two fish that weigh a total of four pounds. And each catch exactly four pounds. Yeah, you're going to catch more than that at Lay, right? Guaranteed. If not, 
Nah, we, we ain't gonna think that. We're not. I'm thinking four pound average sounds good. What about you? At least. Okay, at least at lay that twenty pound bag. Thank you, sir. Ryan Kaziah, Scott Cooper. Come on up here, guys. Again, once you come through it, we need two baskets in the cage at all or in the uh, tank up here. You can go ahead and bring them up, sir. Is that Sam? Sam, get it up here. Been a while since he's done this. Ryan Kaziah, Scott Cooper, you got three bass out there. Tough day fishing? Oh, yeah, we're terrible. <laughs> I like the positive reinforcement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That ain't right. Yeah, we put the work in and didn't make it happen. So Three for 704. It was a tough day for a lot of people. You still got Lay Lake coming up. I mean, I, I know you like that, Blue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one, sir. And um, if you had to do it all over again today, what would you do? Uh, did you ever figure anything out? We didn't. Uh, we, we, caught a, we caught several big ones yesterday. We thought it told us something. And we really wasn't on what we thought we were, and we should have done something a little bit different instead of keep after it. So. What were you catching the big ones on yesterday? Uh, shallow running crankbait. So, I mean, we thought we could kind of make that happen. We caught a real big one yesterday. You tried forcing it in their mouth today. Right. It don't work like that. It does not. Not today, at least. All right, thank you, guys. Right. Sam Fish, Lee Hanby. Is that good? Yep, Lee Hanby and uh, Sam Fish got three bass. In the way. Come on over here, Sam. Talk to me. Did you catch a big one or did he? Lead in. What were you doing this whole time? I I thought you told me you were the best fisherman in that boat. Well, was is the key word. <laughs> I was swinging and missing, and it's on Layton's video. He, he's, uh, we'll see it then. I did not say ugly words, though, did I, Lee? I might have. Yeah, you might have. <laughs> Let's find out three. Is that Was it three or four? Three, three fish for 1060, and you got a big one in there. All right, tell me about this big fish. How did it come about? Came on an Ed rig off a of stump. Ned Rig, so not the most powerful of presentations. Right line, Ned Rig. So what was your pucker factor? Uh, it was pretty high. It was up there, huh? Let's find out. We need 548 to take the lead. 521. You were close. A quarter pound. A quarter pound shot. But that's awesome. That was a great fish. It was good. It was worth the trip. Good job. Hey, great. Good seeing you back again, Sam. Thank you guys for fishing with us. And, uh, we're going to take a, a little break here. Uh, we look at, oh no, we are we? We're not even taking a little break. We are set because we look on here. Normally, the the earliest we can shut it down is five o'clock. We're shutting it down right now at four forty nine. Because out of two hundred and twenty five boats that left this morning, two hundred and twenty five have either uh, come across or checked in. So we can now call it officially unofficial. They'll take care of all their stuff here. Give me a rundown in just a second. Let's take a look. Unofficially taking a win. Noah Godwin, Cole Godwin. 20.33 pounds taking the victory top 10 needed 16 no 15.82 good enough to get into the 10th place and 40th place 11.97 so if you caught 12 pounds you made a paycheck today unfortunately downtown alan brown and frank henry were just a tad shy gonna finish in 41st place so give us a moment uh, we're going to have our paychecks out literally in, in just a few moments. They're going to take care of their official duties back there. We'll print the checks, and they'll be your, in your hand. Get your boats on the trailer. We're getting ready to go. Thanks for being a part of it here at Lake Jordan. I'm Robbie Floyd. Welcome to the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. We'll be back in just a moment with our payout. you sons of fishes now what I, i'm switching sonar why because th now i can see fish swimming live in front of my boat i, I, I even see fish attack my lure y'all sonar is just history i'm out i'm with him
So, how much thought went into picking and packing that gear? You must have gone over your strategy all night. You knew you had a serious shot at this. And how many times did you check your rig? It was ready. You were ready. Because this journey started long before the blast off. All that practice did pay off. You were hitting on every cast. And so was your buddy. You both were spot on and that last fish was money. It's true you were a long way from weigh-in, but you love a challenge. Then it was just a matter of going through the motions. Time to put it on autopilot. You had done this a thousand times. All you had to do was cut across fast and furious because you had planned for everything. Except that. All it takes is one bad decision to ruin the best laid plans. There is no shortcut to a hard earned victory and there is no prize like arriving alive. You can get up, gas up, check in and hook up, but when it comes to safety, don't check out before you weigh in. Fish hard. Be safe. Repeat. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. In the South, we don't get rid of classics. We reinvent them. Try Jack's brand new classic, the Honey Barbecue Chicken Finger Melt. Three hand-breaded chicken fingers drizzled in new honey barbecue sauce, melted cheese, and served on Texas toast with crinkle cut fries, all just $5.49. A new twist on a Southern standard, because flavor is always in style. From Jack's, all about the South. What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? As different as each of the members of America's First are, they all like it when good things happen to them. Like when their savings earn a higher return than they can get with a bank, and when their loans and credit cards have lower rates. And they like taking care of business from wherever they are. Why not join us today? America's First Federal Credit Union. you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him.
So, how much thought went into picking and packing that gear? You must have gone over your strategy all night. You knew you had a serious shot at this. And how many times did you check your rig? It was ready. You were ready. Because this journey started long before the blast off. All that practice did pay off. You were hitting on every cast, and so was your buddy. You both were spot on, and that last fish was money. It's true you were a long way from weigh-in, but you love a challenge. Then it was just a matter of going through the motions. Time to put it on autopilot. You had done this a thousand times. All you had to do was cut across fast and furious because you had planned for everything. Except that. All it takes is one bad decision to ruin the best laid plans. There is no shortcut to a hard earned victory and there is no prize like arriving alive. You can get up, gas up, check in and hook up, but when it comes to safety, don't check out before you weigh in. Fish hard, be safe, repeat. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. In the South, we don't get rid of classics. We reinvent them. Try Jack's brand new classic, the Honey Barbecue Chicken Finger Melt. Three hand-breaded chicken fingers drizzled in new honey barbecue sauce, melted cheese, and served on Texas toast with crinkle-cut fries, all just $5.49. A new twist on a Southern standard, because flavor is always in style. From Jack's, all about the South. What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? As different as each of the members of America's first are, they all like it when good things happen to them. Like when their savings earn a higher return than they can get with a bank, and when their loans and credit cards have lower rates. And they like taking care of business from wherever they are. Why not join us today? America's First Federal Credit Union. you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him.
how much thought went into picking and packing that gear. You must have gone over your strategy all night. You knew you had a serious shot at this. And how many times did you check your rig? It was ready. You were ready. Because this journey started long before the blast off. All that practice did pay off. You were hitting on every cast. And so was your buddy. You both were spot on and that last fish was money. It's true you were a long way from weigh-in, but you love a challenge. Then it was just a matter of going through the motions. Time to put it on autopilot. You had done this a thousand times. All you had to do was cut across fast and furious because you had planned for everything. Except that. All it takes is one bad decision to ruin the best laid plans. There is no shortcut to a hard earned victory and there is no prize like arriving alive. You can get up, gas up, check in and hook up, but when it comes to safety, don't check out before you weigh in. Fish hard, be safe, repeat. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. In the South, we don't get rid of classics. We reinvent them. Try Jack's brand new classic, the Honey Barbecue Chicken Finger Melt. Three hand-breaded chicken fingers drizzled in new honey barbecue sauce, melted cheese, and served on Texas toast with crinkle-cut fries, all just $5.49. A new twist on a Southern standard, because flavor is always in style. From Jack's, all about the South. What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? As different as each of the members of America's First are, they all like it when good things happen to them. Like when their savings earn a higher return than they can get with a bank, and when their loans and credit cards have lower rates. And they like taking care of business from wherever they are. Why not join us today? America's First Federal Credit Union. sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him.
How much thought went into picking and packing that gear? You must have gone over your strategy all night. You knew you had a serious shot at this. And how many times did you check your rig? It was ready. You were ready because this journey started long before the blast off. All that practice did pay off. You were hitting on every cast and so was your buddy. You both were spot on and that last fish was money. It's true you were a long way from weigh-in, but you love a challenge. Then it was just a matter of going through the motions. Time to put it on autopilot. You had done this a thousand times. All you had to do was cut across fast and furious because you had planned for everything. Except that. All it takes is one bad decision to ruin the best laid plans. There is no shortcut to a hard earned victory and there is no prize like arriving alive. You can get up, gas up, check in and hook up. But when it comes to safety, don't check out before you weigh in. Fish hard. Be safe. Repeat. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next of kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. Taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. In the South, we don't get rid of classics. We reinvent them. Try Jack's brand new classic, the Honey Barbecue Chicken Finger Melt. Three hand-breaded chicken fingers drizzled in new honey barbecue sauce, melted cheese, and served on Texas toast with crinkle cut fries, all just $5.49. A new twist on a Southern standard, because flavor is always in style. From Jack's, all about the South. What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? I'd like to welcome everybody watching on AlabamaBassTrail.org. And uh, we're about to do our payouts. And again, uh, this morning, I said we try and do everything as quickly as possible to get everybody home. And we weighed in a lot of boats today. There were some zeros in the mix. But for the last flight checks in at 430K. That means we can shut down at 5 unless everybody's accounted for. We try and get paid by 530. I'm looking at my clock right now, 512, and the checks are going out. You know, the, the guys run these uh, anglers through here so fast. You do such a good job on stage. And, it, you know, this is my time. I mean, this is the crunch time for me and Mary backstage and making sure that we get the polygraph done and everything certified and get all these contingency programs done. But, uh, we want to do this and get it done before daylight. I mean, we are making TV and making these kids famous. I mean, what a great story. 19 and 17. The youngest uh, anglers on the Alabama Bass Trail to ever win an event. And, I mean, did it in just bomb style. That's awesome. All right, let's give them that big payday check. Taking home the first place prize, over $47,000 total going out to our top 40-plus cash and uh, contingencies but taking the victory with a weight of 20.33, led by that 479 Big Bass. $10,000 goes to Noah Godwin and Cole Godwin. How about a round of applause for these young bucks, ladies and gentlemen? Wow.
Wow. That's the big check. That's the one you can't take to the bank. That trophy will stay with you forever. It'll, you look at it back and it'll be my first ABT win, right? Not your only. Hang on, you just... Hey, and you just gave them two checks apiece. They've got on Alabama Bastro gear. It's that simple. It's that simple. And they look great in their Alabama Bastro gear. I know they did. Hey, guys, uh, congratulations on uh, being the youngest ABT winners uh, ever doing this. Did you really think you'd be in this position this early in your career? Absolutely not. We didn't expect 20 pounds to hold off as much as it's taken here in the last few years. We didn't, we didn't think 20 was going to take it, but... I'm glad it did. Yeah, and um, it was there one thing that really uh, put you over the top and, and taking a victory today? Him catching all the big ones sure helped. He caught four of the five that we weighed in with the 479. Do you think you did anything different um, during the day, or are they just happened to be coming to you? Were you doing something slightly different? Not really. We were throwing the same baits in the same spot. It just one of mine. Hey, it's a team sport. It doesn't make a difference. He'd catch all five, and you're happy with that $10,000 check, are you? Absolutely. Your eyes are getting a little watery. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Hey, uh, what are you going to do with all this money? Uh, what's the most money you've ever won in a bass tournament before? Uh, I think 1400 1400 It's a little bit more than that. That's, yeah. A little bit. Hey, congratulations, guys. There's your winners, ladies and gentlemen. Taking the victory, Noah Godwin and Cole Godwin. Second place, five bass that weighed 1876. They had a 464 and it makes five thousand dollars richer. Kenny Smith, RJ Thompson, come on over here, guys. About a pound and a quarter shy of that victory. And uh at the start of the day, I don't think uh they expected to catch 18 and change. Or I don't know anybody that thought they could catch 18 to 20 pounds after after practice. $5,000, here's the real check. The one that cashes, $5,000, 22. Congratulations, guys, excellent job. Third place, Clay Harris, Billy Norwalk, five bass for 1836. And I promise you, well, I don't know where they ran their second place, but they didn't even burn a quarter gallon of gas, much less a quarter tank. <laughs> they got three bucks in their fishing day, and they're going to get paid $4,000. Yeah, they used more energy on their trolling motor than it took to produce the quarter tank or a quarter gallon of gas. And they had a 503 in the mix there as well. Top three take their checks up here. Everybody else get them down on their tarmac. Congratulations, guys. It's good to see you and be a part of it. And, Kay, that just goes to prove that us out there on our uh, uh, Facebook Live boat are not bad luck, right? Yeah, cameras are never bad luck like that. All right, everybody else getting that payday out, and we'll get you out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, fourth place, taking home $3,000 with 1765. Russ Naughton, Troy Woodham, good job, guys. Brandon Hurst, Mike Freeman in fifth, 1726, going up for $2,000. Mark Mott, Justin Mott in sixth, 1711 on their day with $1,500. The rest of our top ten will get $1,100. That means Danny Lavoy, Sammy Bailey in seventh. Eighth place goes to Robbie Pelt, David Kaler. 16.13 on their day. Tim Windsor, Mike Smith in ninth with 16.09. And rounding out the top 10, Keith Mayfield, Daryl Adams, five bass for 15.82. And again, 1,100 bucks. $750 goes to 11th place. Randall Hamilton and Drew Blackman, they had 15.76. We pay 70, uh, 750 down to the top 20. Mark McCaig, Tim Hurst in 12th. 13th place, Brent Cottle, Ryan Miller. They'll finish in 13th with a total of 15.18. Joey Davidson, Tullus Lanier in 14th with 15.01. That was three one hundredths more than Lanier Burton and Michael Keel. They finished in 15th. 16th goes to Rob Lee, Steve Winslet, five bass for 14.91. Just ahead of Nick Turner and Joe Lay, 17th place with 14.44. Trevor Elliott, Brady Morgan. Woo! 18th place, 1435 and $750. J.C. Adams, Chuck Adams, 19th place with 1420. And 20th place, David Stewart, Adam Parker. 
taking a top 20 with 1394 again good enough for 750 dollars we pay 500 dollars for a 21st down to 40th place brett gunnison andrew tarver in 21st with 1388 that was one one hundredth better than gentry gordy and chad smith 23rd goes to dan graham trent adams they had 1375 on the day tim hatcher and shane underwood 1348 for 24th place 25th goes to ben and Trip Weldon, the Weldon's taking home uh, 500 bucks in 1345 on the day. 26 is Mike Hill and Kenny Hill, 1342 on the day. 27th is Charlie Williams and Michael Smith. They had a 327 big fish in there. Good enough for 27th place. 28th, Shane Wallace, Anthony Coley. They had 1310. 29th goes to Darren Hutchins and uh, Jay Hutchins, 1308. Their five fish limit. Five fish for 1283. That's what Justin West and Alan McDonald had, 30th place. 31st goes to Larry McDonald and Donnie Ammons. They had five bass for 1260. 32nd goes to Mike McCall and Reed McCall with one, two, three, four. In 33rd place, Caleb McNeil, Taylor Luna with 1217. 1216. One one hundredth less is Will Kelly and Chuck Roberts. Chris Hethcox and Chris Miller, five bass for 1214. One one hundredth better than John Pollard and Dallas Weldon, and one one hundredth better. And in 37th place is, or, or, or less, is Brian Jones and Barry Jones. They had 1212. 1209 is what Chris Miner and Eric Staggs had. They finish in 38. 39th goes to Chris Gregory and Todd Rooker, five bass for 1205. And 40th place, Ryan Stewart, David Swats, five bass for 11.97. So, Kate, I know you're going through the contingency stuff. Our America's First Federal Credit Union, Mark McCaig and Tim Hurst, taking home that with Dowie Marine, Kenny, Kenny Smith, and uh, second place so the with Dowie Marine. So it's good. So again, buy your boat at Medallion Marine, get it financed through America's First Federal Credit Union. We've got our Garmin Grand to search through and find out who wins that $500. It's our Garmin 500. <laughs> Brandon Hurst uh, got that one. So great job. Uh, again, the individual sponsors, whether it be Berkeley or, uh, or Strike King and, and those people that help us out, I'd like to thank all of them. And it was a great one here. It took 30 pounds to win at Gunnersville. It took over 20 pounds to win here at Lake Jordan. Well, congratulations, Noah Godwin, Cole Godwin. We'll see if they can turn it up. They are our Angler of the Year points leaders as it stands right now, and we will see everybody at Lay Lake the 28th of March. I'm Robbie Ford on behalf of Kay Donaldson and Clay Baldus. We'll see you next stop at the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. We'll see you, Clay. <laughs>